very curious because I've been critical of the whole s- stance for reasons that I brought up to you and you before. I'm curious, like, you're, uh, did you get started as a PUA? Was that the whole thing? I barely heard anything about that until Pick the Bradley podcast. Artist. That's but, the only way I made my money, but yeah. PUA would mean, like, you explain what you're doing. Yeah. I never did that. Yeah. So pretty much when uh, I was on Twitch, I kept getting banned, and I re- I'd return to, like, 200 viewers. Very low viewers. So the only way I could get viewers was picking up girls IRL, like in, in the public. And that's the first time I started making $20,000 a month. Because they're like, dude, this, they would pick like that girl at the mall, the, the redhead or whatever. And it would be like a thousand dollar bounty for like a big tit. How, how are you live streaming this? Like somebody's following you around with a phone with a No, I had stick? a selfie stick. Okay. But I would drop the phone sometimes so okay. nobody saw. Okay. So I'd just drop it on the mall window or whatever. And I'd pick her up, and it would be like, for 60 seconds, i got to grab the number, or else i like, lose all the money or whatever. Yeah. But I was like, it, it, all the clips are up. I was doing 20 seconds, 10 seconds, quickly. And I was like, not how are you? I'd be like, oh, I like your toenail, your toenail color. You have the toes of a pedophile. Yeah. And the girls would laugh. <laughs> and people like, yeah, people like, how is that pickup? But now that I explain it, I'm like, I just want her in a state of play. Yeah. That's all I want. I don't, I don't want to do no yeah. interview. But yeah. Beautiful. Adam, your thoughts? Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. So um, I was the, the first person on the internet to do a 60-second makeout with a woman on the street. So, on YouTube? Uh, yeah, this was back in 2006. So we were like, we're going to, I mean, oh, uh, the, I'm old. The golden so, yeah, era. Yeah, this is like back then. So yeah, man, I mean, there was, you know, even then there was, people wanted to see it. They wanted to see you go out there and actually do it. They they made two documentaries about me Whoa. Um, where they, they follow me with cameras. Because, dude, they, they didn't follow you like being like, oh, let's watch you succeed. They were like, watch this idiot fail, you know? So when I ended up succeeding on, like, on a real TV, show i mean you know this ended up being broadcast all over the uk um you know it's it's a big deal they're like wow this shit's real yeah. and it was funny because until 2006 2007 no one even believed it was real it was just the underground community it was after there was enough documentaries we ended up on tv shows hmm. they went from this isn't real to these guys are evil yeah. and that was the, that yeah. was the shift you know? yeah, it, it, yeah. it, it, it wasn't a threat because they thought it didn't work and by the way it wasn't just pickup it was any kind of male improvement i really felt like i've said this before i feel like women in general do not believe in male improvement maybe not maybe not mm-hmm. you ladies in general but like for for real like other than the money, I feel like a lot of times women find this finished product and they're like, oh, this is, this was, he was always like this. He was always gorgeous and fucking funny and all this kind of stuff. And they don't understand the time he spent in the gym or the eight figure business that he yeah. built. They don't see that. They just see the finished product. So when people go to like fucking Tony Robbins or they go to Bradley or they go to somebody like that and they end up building a business or they go to Adam Lyons in the end, they, like, they just see the finished product. I mean, dude, I agree with you, but also I think it's just people in general don't believe people can improve. Like yeah. it's the same yeah. with women. Like yeah. no one looks at a woman and is like, you know, oh, well, you know, once upon a time she used to be ugly and she had to, you know, learn makeup and all this stuff. Like, it's pretty interesting to see women, like, in their, like, mid-twenties as they're learning makeup. And I find that's really fascinating. Where you know they suddenly become really attractive over six months, and you're like, "Damn, what happened? Like, was that cosmetic surgery?" Mm-hmm. She's like, "No, I just learned how to contour off this YouTube video." That, that, you know, they, they 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 always learn after they break up with you. Yeah. They get so fucking hot. I'm like, "Bitch, what the, I need a time machine." Well, that's because they're crying at home. They sit and watching YouTube videos because they don't want to go out in public. And they're like, "I'm gonna get really hot. How to get hot? Use contouring to get hot. Great." Yeah. And that's like how. But but you know, it's funny. We always joke about this. We say like. Every, every woman is probably 15 grand away from being like one of the hottest women you've ever seen. Um, and oh, I think it's more than 15. I think it was 15. Yeah. Plastic yeah. Sur- is that yeah. plastic surgery? Yeah. I've never said so. I just said 15 grand. Yeah. No, I, I, <laughs> I think I'm like the only dude in the red pill space who's like pro plastic surgery. No, like, you, there's two of us. Oh, no. There's two of us. I, hey, ladies, <laughs> fix yourself. Get yeah. everything. There's two of us. Yeah. It's, a, it's an investment in your yeah. future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, but I mean, you know, but it, it can be all sorts of things. I mean, there, there are some people that genuinely have great bodies, but that 15K might be in something else like self improvement, even for women, right? Like education. Like, I, I just think human beings in general, like, there's a reason that people are in the top 1% or the top 5% in something. But think of Kylie Jenner. Have you seen her old photos? <laughs> that was there we her, go. Her old, before the money, she looked like, she, she should have sued her mom. She was, like, not attractive at all, but that money made her into, like, whatever it is now. Well, no one's ugly. They're just broke. Oh, this Everybody girl was just she, was, she was ugly. That's, you know, that's ancient but, but, history. Well, I mean, by that logic, that, right? it's true because, like, you say, fifth, what is it, fifteen grand? Fifteen grand. Apparently, more. Do, well, would time you guys agree? Would the ladies? Would you agree with? Yeah, that? my boobs were like seven. 7500 7500 so. 15 grand. God damn. Yeah. No, no. That's, uh, I don't think that's... I think you get one with the other. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's buy one, get one when it yeah, comes to the Dow Corning breast implants. The mentor breast implants. Time. 
Yeah, yeah. No, that's, <laughs> that's essentially how, how yeah. it does. I, I have a second question for you guys. We talked uh, briefly when you came on about TRT. I don't yeah. know, you are, you are on TRT. You said one, you had a stroke because your estrogen levels were so low? Yeah, so, um, you really? know. That I, could happen? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, and, and I, th I think people should really know this. I'm actually big on educating this. So, um, you know, growing up, I was like, I, I don't need testosterone. And the thing is, there was no drop in my, my sex drive. I was fucking like twice a day, every day. So I'm like, there's nothing wrong with me. Bravo. Go to the doctor, get a, a general checkup. And he's like, everything great. Your testosterone levels are great. They're at 450. I'm like, great. If, if my levels are okay, they're great. And I didn't need to get educated on it. 450 is great. Apparently. Yeah. Um, so, right. What, what was that? E, E2. So, so, no, this, no I, I, this was just my doctor was like, your, uh -huh. your T levels are 450, right? So I'm like, great. Um, over the next couple of years, um, I start getting sleepy in the afternoons, don't really think anything of it. And then, bam, one day I have a stroke. I am in hospital for four days. I can't speak. I, I can't communicate properly. Like I am, I'm in a bad way. It was a, it was a minor stroke, thankfully. Um, and you can see it. Like I'll say, it's like one of the things I'm subconscious about. I only talk out one side of my mouth. And the more you start looking at me, you'll see it's just one side that talks. Um, You're joking? No, you don't. What well, you'll see it. You'll see it. It's this side barely. It moves. Really? But this, yeah, mostly it's the left side. Jeez. So you, you'll see. Anyway, long story short, uh -huh. um, they couldn't work out what triggered the stroke. And so I go, I get a new GP, thankfully. My new GP specializes in testosterone, and he was like, I want to get you checked. Um, and he messaged me on a Sunday afternoon, and he's like, dude, your levels are 270. And I was like, well, it was 450 before, how bad's 270? He's like, 450 is bad. He's like, 270 yeah. is terrible. And yeah, I didn't like, think, when you said 450, I was confused, because that's not really a good number. Right, yeah. so for me it did is. Did you go to an the, the endocrinologist? Health, <laughs> so the, the healthy, yeah, we, I ended up. Okay. So the okay. healthy range, so that's why. according okay. to GPs, is between like 400 and 700. But the reality is there is an optimal range that is very different. <laughs> but they just look yeah. for what's healthy, not what's optimal. So then yeah. they put me on, on mandatory testosterone. So now my levels are uh, between 1,100 and 1,200. I've never in my life related to someone more because when I was in my bodybuilding <laughs> phase, one tablet of letrozole will nuke like 98% of human estrogen in the male. I was taking like eight. And the only time I'll take less is when I'm puking it out with Arimidex. So I had, I don't know, what was I, like 0% estrogen? So that's, yeah. that, that's my transition is your steroid yeah. stack, if you could uh, explain it. I, it was... At your peak, when you were talking about 5,000 units of trend. Now, I think it's actually like 25% lower than what's on paper. Yeah. Because there's no way those days I'm puking that hard. I puke every day, but the days I'm really puking hard, there's no way I was poking. Yeah. Right? But I remember... At least five times a week, I would have four buddies injecting me 3CC, 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 like cattle. You were doing Halo, Winstrol, Deca. It trend. was two grams of Trembolone. So taking 200, let's say 100 milligrams a week of testosterone will turn you into a trans man. So mm -hmm. 100 milligrams is a lot to a human. I was taking almost 4,500 a week. It was like... 2,000 mgs of trenbolone acetate, 2,000 mgs of equipoise. Jesus Christ. I, I think Mastron was- How are you alive? <laughs> well, I overdosed twice. But then it was like 1,000 milligrams of Mastron and Enthate at the tail end, so last four weeks. 100 mgs of Win, Anadrol, uh, Anavar, Clen, T3, DMP, which is rat poison and dynamite. And this one cooked me because- uh, you know, I overdose on this. I like, cooked myself to death. Like I was, <laughs> ice packs were melting so fast on my skin, and my s sweat was orange, radioactive. Because this is fertilizer. It's like it's, fertilizer. it's not meant for humans. <laughs> At least you were growing. Yeah, yeah. No, I was <laughs> fucking shredded, bro. <laughs> but also, also G GHP had a gr growth hormone release effect, so it was better than alcohol. But I was an alcoholic. I like Jameson too. Molly, so I don't beat up my girlfriend. I, I've never hit a woman. That's your stack. I, I never hit a woman. I never hit a woman in my life. But on all these, I needed to calm down, right? I'm, I'm on all this. You don't say. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm a sweetheart often. Molly and uh, and coke for like when I was working at the nightclubs to stay awake. And yeah, yeah, and and then I overdosed twice and. Don't do it. Shit. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing that I, I've learned about this. Here's the thing that I've learned about this stuff that I think is like super important. I, and mm -hmm. I wish I'd learned this earlier. Is just get a really good doctor. You don't need to do it yourself with buddies at the gym. Just get a really good doctor who really knows what's going on. I mean, we were talking about this. Like, you know, I, I'm I'm prescribed all the things that I want to be taking. I don't take anything under the counter. Here's Everything's the the weirdest thing legit. is. Yeah, you I got a fucking stroke. I, I took all. Hopefully yeah. not. Separate. I, this I, one could take some notes over here. I, I took all this stuff. Yeah. So 
for the next three years of my life, erectile dysfunction, but only with the hottest ones. It was very weird. And with other ones, I just didn't want to. Oh. But erectile dysfunction, I swear this is not comedy. You guys are going to laugh. Erectile dysfunction <laughs> made me the most attractive man in my city. Every weekend, there would be a model in my apartment sobbing, crying. Why I won't fuck her and I'm just playing Halo. And I'd be like, shut the fuck up. And there'd be group chats of girls saying, he didn't fuck me, he didn't fuck me. So the one lucky girl that got fucked, she was hated so much because they're like, well, what's so great about her? And all these girls would compete to see when is this guy gonna fuck? Is he gay? No, he <laughs> hates gay people. This guy's crazy, right? So erectile dysfunction looked like this interest because they're so hot, these women, they've never had a guy, you know? And even if when, when they're not hard, guys still touch them. But I was so nuked. I just did. I just wanted that, the company. Do you, do you think that turns like like? Do you think that turns women on? Like if you no, want, not, like, not like, long term, not for a while. Not for a while. Like what you were saying. That's actually a good scenario. Like if you are if you just met a woman, you're at a club, whatever. You just, for the first time, you're gonna get down, like. And you like don't have sex with like would you would that be a turn on for yes. you? Yeah. Yeah. So easy boy. Yes. Would you, would, you would, would it make you You're wanna, so easy? Would Taylor. it make you follow him that much more? Would it, would it, would it, Taylor, like, what, what do you think about, as a resident resident feminist? What do you think about this? All this? Oh, <laughs> oh wow! Oh, the ops! Wow, the ops! The ops! Slip that um, right in. Um, who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> I've been hurt. I believe that. Sounds like I've been three hurt. dudes in the Sorry. gym stabbing him. I've been hurt. I've been hurt. That's why I'm so rich. That's why I have so much money. But it's crazy to me because it's like anytime I've coached people in dating, I'd say your first date with her has to be 100% you don't fuck her. Absolutely. That way you keep her forever. Absolutely. And here's how far I'd take it. This is extreme. Absolutely. I would go because I always did best when I was exhausted. So I'm like, how's that? I'd go on four hour hikes, completely drain myself so I'm not, I can't fuck, I'm tired. And I would set up meeting the boys after I go, let's say we get chicken wings, I would meet the boys after her. So I'd be so excited to stay with the boys and do some blow and she's boring the fuck out of me and I know I'm not fucking date one so I just gotta go. She feels that energy of he's answering everything late, like I'd be cutting my steak and she'd be like, how was your day? And I'd be like, cool. And when you answer four seconds late, you're doing what you're supposed to do on a date, which is the only thing, drop her anxiety to zero. That's when she sucks the skin off your dick. But not date one. Immediate, did I fuck this up? Right. Immediately, hey, good, goodbye, mwah, mwah. I'd walk away and she'd see my back and she'd be like, that's the first guy to run away. She'd open my social media and she'd be like, at that same fucking bar, he's with the boys. He just left me for the boys. And then she'd chase, she'd be like, I don't want Zirka, but I have to win him over. I want to be interesting to him, then I'll block him. And I'd sit at home plotting like day two, I'm the most playful, I'm fucking the shit out of her day two. Because day two, she's expecting the exhausted guy again. But I'm like, hey, and I excite them and they go, oh my God, daddy's happy now. So this and I would, it was a mind fuck, but I learned this. I learned I pick up all the women on my eighth hour of the shift at the club. When I'm drained, covered in sweat, tired, I don't want to talk to you. Right? So here's, here's what I love about this, and, and this for everyone oh listening, God. right? The science behind what he's doing, like we've been teaching this literally for like 18 years or 17 years realistically. Um, the, everything you're doing is textbook, per, I mean, obviously you know, right? Because it's working, but, but the step-by-step -step thing is, first of all, we've got supply and demand. If anybody yeah. can get you, nobody wants you. Scarcity. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. nothing to do with dating. That's just human beings, yeah. supply and demand. So I love your version of how to do it. There are so many ways of doing it, but that is a there's, way to do it. There's right? there's it's, threads yeah. online. It's push pull. It's a takeaway. If, I mean, right. yeah, which is David D'Angelo. We're going back to like yeah. right at the very there are dating. there are Reddit threads of millions of guys who say, I know she didn't fake the orgasm. She had a great night, and she still blocked me because he's some schmuck from the club. But if you're the one to leave, it's like when you, when it, when you take a girl to the apartment. And you want to fuck and she doesn't, if you turn around and go to sleep, she's traumatized. She tries to wake you up and shit. So, or I go leave for a cigarette and she texts me, where did you go? I said, I need this cancer because you're not fucking me. What the fuck? But I learned that you all men are dogs. Wagging their tails for pussy, their anxiety mm -hmm. increases. But when they're cats and they stay at a fucking windowsill thinking about their depression and ignoring the girl... She's so charmed when he actually shows some interest. Like, have you ever had a cat walk on your lap? You're like, oh my God, it likes me. Mm -hmm. But it's every so fucking dog wants you. Have you guys, like, it's for, for the ladies, have you ever, like, chased after a guy because of, like, like in this scenario? Have you been the girl in this scenario before? 
Like when I was younger. Yeah, when mm. I was young and stupid. Yeah, stupid. And, yeah, when I didn't and know. done any healing. These are broken girls you're talking it, about, not healed so, women. So, yeah. so you think, yeah. girls, so you think, yeah. so think quality-wise, yes. you think like yes. naive-wise, like youth-wise, like you're experience no, no, no. You're, you're looking for someone that's weak-minded <laughs> that you can manipulate. I'm an apex predator. If you look at NBA players' wives, NH, NHL players' wives, mm. those, those beautiful women all chase the shit out of the guy. You're supposed to chase. You don't want a man to chase you. It dries you up. No man, when, when, let's say we're dating, she's really just admitting I'm better than her because women only date up. I can date a McDonald's worker who makes $5 an hour. I can fall in love with her. She does not have the DNA to do that ever. You can never, would you ever marry a McDonald's worker? Probably not. No, there's no probably. Absolutely. Well, at not. this point in my life, no. No, no. At there any you point, you'd be like, go back to your fries. But <laughs> us, if we had a cute, sweet girl that's loyal and she worked at McDonald's, I'd say, Br bring some nuggets, babe. I would fucking marry her in a week. Men can marry a poor McDonald's worker. Mm -hmm. Women, no matter how great he is, they're not, they can't do it. So they're I, up I, the devil. Dude, I gotta disagree, man. I grew up poor. I'm telling you, there are a lot of women that absolutely date down. But, absolutely. but listen to what you're oh, saying. Yeah. Listen to what he's oh, saying. Yeah. Listen to what you're saying. When I was poor, trapping, drug dealing, I fucked a lot of them. How many did you sustain? Zero. No, no, no dude, they won't stay with dude, you. I, dude, they I'm will never you, stay with a broke dude, guy. I'm telling you right now, I have seen broke women hanging out with, oh, yeah. with dudes that are so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. for yeah. How long? Ten years, twenty years. They got kids together. She's like, one day this guy is gonna get off my sofa. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I'm telling you the, now. It's, it depends where you are in society. That's a horrible right. life. That, you, that life, you, that guy on the sofa that dude, you're painting. Hundred percent. How is that a good thing? But that's the majority of people on the planet, man. Most people live that way. You're describing the upper echelons of society, which I agree with you. At the upper echelons, those women absolutely will look to date up because they've put time, energy into their, their mental health, they've done the work, they're, they're improving. Yes, the top 5% of women but are you're absolutely saying that You're dating saying you've got to cope with a cheater. If she's dating down, Dude. she's going to cheat. No, no, he'll Says be cheating. Who? Dude, I, this will blow your brain. I'm telling you. I she will up, cheat, but I who has so more poor. options? Who has more options, the male or the female? Who has the capacity of evil? In, in, in the poor society, we're she, talking about, woman, right? In a poor society? No, no. In like, let's say you're in Detroit. Right. Well, she, again, if he it, can cheat once a month. That bitch can cheat a thousand times a month. You're telling me that dude got a good deal dude, out of that? Most of the time, that woman is going to be running three jobs, looking after the kids, cleaning. She don't have time to cheat. Where? Dude, I, Women it's cooking and cleaning? Dude, this is an alternate universe. Where am I? Dude, I tell you what, man. This Honey, is you're the, uh, going reality. for broken women. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, going we're going have a new, we have a new, we have a new okay. player. We got we a new have, player. We have eight. We got a new player. World, world class pole dancer and oh, professional oh poker player. Oh Miss, my goodness. Miss, oh, wow. hey, what are we calling you today? I'll go by Allison today. We're going by Allison, Allison today. Can we have everybody move in this way? So Allie yeah, I'm and the fascist. Taylor. You know Allie, Allie came in in the middle of this conversation. She's like, <laughs> yeah. the fuck Okay, can we, get, can, we, can we see the three shot of them real quick just to see how, how they look? Beautiful. Are they in the way here? All right, nice. All right, that cool. We're, now we're great. nice and cozy. Hey, now, before we get before we continue here, no, I got I have to make a public announcement. Uh, in a, I don't know how much longer we got. How much longer? We got we an have. hour or forty five okay. minutes. 45 in forty five minutes. minutes, we will be moving this everything. If you're watching on my channel, or if you're walk, watching on Mike's channel, go and subscribe to the Access Vegas channel because we're going to kill the, our streams and then we're going to go to uh, to the Access Vegas dedicated channel. Yes. Again, I want to make sure because last time we did this, everybody's like, "Where the hell did it go?" Access Vegas. If you don't know where it is, it's the first. It's, it's in the it's description. A, it's in the description. It's in my it's description. It's in the description. Yeah, so go out. sub now because in about 45 minutes, we're going to switch over there. Just public service announcement. All right. Morgan, what do you think about all this? I'm sorry. Allie. Allie, <laughs> <laughs> Allie no, Morgan. We'll go by Morgan. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, honestly, what kind of girls are you dating? Well, when I was <laughs> we're, we're talking about my dating days. Oh, shit. Right now, I'm with a teenager. I like teenagers. They're my favorite. But... When we're talking about my dating days, they were paralegals, lawyers, doctors, whores, every kind of girl. And they all kind of like acted the same around me. But all the arguments would come because, yeah, I'm a funny guy. But if I can't pay rent, there's nothing funny about me. Because women, you know, like you guys, can't, are you, do you have the capacity to actually marry a McDonald's working Chad like me? Could you do that? Well, 
Right Has now, any woman ever done that? Let's go around, let's go, let's go around the table here. McDonald's like, employees could you? actually, I was talking about this today. McDonald's employees are right now even making more yeah. than our teachers. Do I want to date, maybe marry a teacher? I would say so, but to just no, slap a label on someone because of where they work, you're money, saying, money wise, business. money wise, and, 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 and like, it doesn't have to and be like money wise, right? And maybe not so much McDonald's, but if that's what he does and he provides for me and he's happy and we're happy together, you've then done sure. this, you've done this before. Have any of your girlfriends or any Facebook mutual friend, anyone in existence? All right, so so here, here's, what, here's what I'm going to do here because I understand what you guys are trying to say, but the problem is the, the it's not that the McDonald's Can worker is down? untenable; it's that the McDonald's worker has to compete with all the other people who aren't fucking McDonald's workers. That's the problem. <laughs> the, one, the one of the issues is like with ladies is like when they're when they get older and they're uh, you have an issue where hey you're still great, you're still pretty, all these kind of things. Maybe you have a kid, all these different issues. It's not that you're not great; it's that there's other versions like you mentioned 18 my girlfriend's 20 she just turned 21 and in this situation that's the most that's the craziest thing i've ever heard because why can't you say that about men what do you mean that, what? why can't you say we could marry a mcdonald's worker yeah why is it different for men no, no no my point is my point is for us we look for signs of replication for women they look for signs of survival and that's you could just say they're gold diggers I mean, that's one of. I mean, we I, could just say that. Let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> They're gold diggers, and they should be. They want to take care of their kids. That's their DNA talking. But why are we pretending like it's like they're capable of as much good in romance as men? We we, we take bullets for women. We're the good guys. Women We're the. Women could be your women. ride or die. You do know that. Oh right? my so, god. Like, can a, okay? Can a woman be my ride or die if I got fired from my job? Yes. Why not? Because really? she sees your potential. If you tell her about your dreams, if you're like, "This is what I want to do," right? And then she sticks with you. She supports you. She's right. doing everything she needs I'll, to for you, and you get there. Look how that charitable. Is a ride or die, bitch. Rolla, look how charitable I'm gonna be to her. One. All breakups and divorces come Love. from financial insecurity, especially because of her. But two, if she's a ride or die, and drug abuse, she, yeah, <laughs> that's me. But if she's a if she's a ride or die, and she sees the word ambition, that's code for return on investment because she's a fucking gold digger. Well, either way you look at it, that she wants well, security and gold digger provided yes. for. If the man why is, is she a gold digger because she wants to be provided for? Or if that's Please what the man answer. promised she's a, her. She's a gold digger when compared to the opposite gender, the male. So when right? helping when helping your agree? husband um, get to the man needs looking to be, for pussy, the which would be the money? gold that they're digging for. <laughs> and if the man promises her, all right, she wins. It is gold. It is gold. We love it. Treasure. I know that husband choosing to be successful. Appreciating asset though. There. Not if he's actually coming to you saying, "This is what I'm going to provide for you." I may not have this right now, but this is what I'm. That's not me being a gold digger. That's him seeing the quality woman that I am and what I can do for him. A woman can't do anything for a man. At, like uh, for, for what? his career? You're Excuse saying for me, his Ashley, no, I have a oh, what a man too. wants, what, what a man a, needs out of a woman. He's like, you know this the, is what I want. Oh, every oh, fortune, oh, every fortune. This is what I want out of a wife. You, I want a wife to do this. If this, you want this, to have a fortune, for you. if you want to have a Fortune 500 company, <laughs> become a homosexual, <laughs> and you'll win. <laughs> and dye your hair blue. The, all the all the biggest wow. businesses are homosexuals because they don't deal with women. That's the truth. Or narcissists. They're, they're homosexual narcissists, right? So. No, I mean, people that are usually the most successful well, like, are usually self-centered. Give, self me, give me an example. Okay. How, like a how can a woman that? help my career right now? I'm the biggest thing on the internet. If I start taking someone seriously and dating them and not playing with my teenager, what is she going to do for me? You built it. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you built you, an entire you career. Hold on. You built an entire career off oh. picking up what? Women. Women. Okay. So what do they do for you? And you need them. Right, but they're <laughs> to I'm, show I'm, I'm off still, to your but I'm, students. I'm, 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 <laughs> but I'm. You, you Otherwise, just said, you have no I built, business. I, no, no, I had other jobs, but I was a drug dealer. I was killing it. Oh, but yo, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally the most attractive, the most attractive, the most attractive career field a man can have. <laughs> but, yeah. Here's what you said. You made a career picking up the gender that is selfish and a gold digger. I agree. I the disagree men are with not you, gold diggers. But like me, I, I actually sense. have a lot of experience. When I lived, when I moved to Hollywood, I was about twenty. You guys, it's golden age for you guys. I know mm. you get it. You know, <laughs> and I actually dated. Well, I tended to date lots of like older, rich guys. It was boring. Like I didn't even sleep with them. The dates were like so much. Oh, what am I going to talk to them about? They That's true. No, titled. right now. I couldn't. I agree. So when I started dating him, he was fresh off divorce. I, he I, walked away with nothing, well, and I'm like. Honey, let's build it all from scratch. Well, he's and the first of all, he's the best. We shove the shoulders Good together job. and we move it. But check this know? out. Right now, I have a bunch of women. A bunch. They leave yacht parties to stay. Whether I'm in a penthouse or in a fucking doghouse, they'll stay with me. 
But they're not choosing me over the rich guy. They're choosing a man who maxed out the fucking trinity of looks, network, right. and status. I don't say mm -hmm. finance because you could have $100 million. Money dollars. muscles. If you're, game. A, if you're yeah. a fucking crypto nerd, you don't got pussy. I got looks, <laughs> network, and status. That trinity, no yacht billionaire is comparing to me. That's why the girls I fuck show me pictures of them fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. We're sharing the same fucking pool. But look what he has. He has the trinity. When has a woman ever dated a man out of the Trinity? No, you need that Holy Spirit, right? <laughs> but now look at us, Rolo. Rolo, <laughs> if, if, wow. Ro if, Rolo <laughs> if Rolo and I met a cute, loyal McDonald's worker, we will fuck it, bro. F fuck a prenup. You can have half, bitch. Bro, if you dated a McDonald's worker, you've said this a lot. I, I gotta. I've <laughs> yeah, fucked so like, many. No, but have you yeah. dated one? Four. Right. I don't like Burger King. No, I, but like, because you're. Because your point is a woman would date through? for a long like, time. No, no, a McDonald's no, no. You guys are missing the point. The point is <laughs> only one gender is capable of that action. Period. What action? What action? Name one. Name one. Let him clarify. Name one celebrity. Let him clarify. Let him clarify. What action? Sandra Bullock is dating who? The other guy, like divorce. What okay. action though? Oh, it, Some, yeah. no, one, no one's guy. The men in this table can date a McDonald's worker. The women cannot. Yeah, not your you, friends. Yeah. So not your, your lineage. What's your, not what's your, your explaining? What you're explaining is basic is basic hypergamy, right? So it's like women only want to date at or above their either yeah. status or their looks or whatever they that, they, wait, 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 roll whatever roll they roll perceive roll as their sexual market value. Men don't have that attraction floor. That's all you're saying. But no, no, that's yeah. not what I'm saying mm -hmm. because that's a watered down version. What I'm saying is, they if what I'm saying is true and we all agree. These women have to admit everyone they've dated was above them. Not no, true. No, you know, not at Yes. Or, yes. Or, yes. Or, yes. Hold on. That's the truth. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Or, John, John, John. Or their perception of that guy was that he was above them at some point. Because women don't want perception to is reality. Don't want Same thing. Have, okay, they, right, have, they, have they? Well, is it perception or is it like? Because there probably every woman at this table will say like, I was with this guy. It was so hot. It was so great. And then he said something somewhere along the way that fucked things up. Like he was like, it, I thought he was great. On. He said something. Yeah, so it's, it's something. I, I hold on. We're, we're, yeah, okay. Okay. Listen, it's <laughs> turned into it's, a creep. Here we go, guys. Ready? It's rich men, but not all rich men. Some rich, rich. men can talk their way out of pussy. Absolutely. That's number one. Number two, yeah. the 37 yeah. culture yeah. study by Dr. David Buss. In every single one of the cultures, women cared more about acquisition of resources than men. In some places like Norway, it was 50% more. In some places like India, it was 200% more. But women always cared more about acquisition of resources than men. In his estimation, the word he's using is gold digger because women care more about well, resources than men. That's the word you're no, no. using. But I'm not trying to be those red pill guys like gold digger. First of all, if I had a daughter and she's not a gold digger, I, I would I would kill myself. I'd be like, you're not dating no broke dude. So I, I'm not using, I'm not disparaging the women. Right. I'm saying why can no podcast on the internet, every dating one, and I'm the first human in dating history to say if she's dating you, she is under you, and you need to tell her, baby girl, this is how it works. When you tell her and she says, yeah, John, you're right. Honey, then do you think that you're the whoa. first misogynist wait, 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 yeah. step, time? Hold I'm, on. I'm so sorry. I've got to step in. So, And, and I, I know where Michael brought me here. So Wasagi. I was famous in 2006 for being the number one pickup artist in Europe. And then I became the number one pickup artist. Those women Europe. you picked up, were they above you or you above them? I was a janitor, bro. Right, right, right. But wow. the, no, no. I was a janitor. Right, right. But in their perception, when they're sucking your dick, looking up at you, were <laughs> you above them in their psyche? They couldn't it, believe I was a janitor. You're so you're... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I straight up, I had no money. I was making okay, three hundred pounds a month. Okay, this anecdote is, we don't do anecdotes. We're on Rolo's show. We don't well, do anecdotes. But here's, no, but here's, the, but here's the other thing, this though. Okay, thing. so could you charm your way into a woman's pants? Could you be good I looking love, enough? No, 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 that's not the question. Well, I'll, 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 we're trying I'll to sustain right now. I will tell you right now. A janitor can fuck, but we're talking about sustaining her. Well, okay, so that's a different, though. You're looking at the long term versus like short term fuck. I love this. Yeah, long, so long term is all I, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. So much work salad going on. And here's the thing the reality is, I ended up dating a TCU cheerleader and moving to America from the position of a janitor. That happened. Where is she? But right now, I divorced her. You divorced her. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And it was nothing to do with... All right, check this out. I'll give you the win. Thank you. Rolo would say this is an anomaly to be... He's just polite, but this in, in his statistic no, line... I'm, what I'm saying is that there's... That's there's an a, anomaly. There's the a, janitor? There's a, come on. there's a difference between alpha fucks and beta bucks. Okay, so if there's a guy that is, like, hot, 
He's, he's, he, you know, she was drunk, he was hot, and one thing led to another. The hot guy on the foam cannon party, instant sexual access, right? Short-term sexual interest. Then there's the long-term sexual, well, I, hold the on. long-term interest, which but, is provisioning, protection, and, pro, and parental but, investment, which is what you've been talking about for this entire, the, right, up to this point. But that's all so, I sell. So That's yeah, all I that's sell. That's all you sell. But there's another aspect to that, because there's every, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but in your youth, perhaps, there's every girl at this table has, at some point, saw the guys like, you know, maybe it would be fun to have a one-night stand with this guy. It might be fun to fuck this guy. And he, and if there's not, the arousal has been there for the woman who has wanted to do that. But so, so there's a short term sexual. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying at thezerkofficial.com, what I sell mm. is we are very against random little hookups because what mm. you're doing is you're farming awkward moments and trauma that make you a worse player. So we say, you own her if she fucks you 10 times. She fucked you once and blocked your ass. You became a worse pickup artist. But she's still so, fucking you for a different reason. But we for want a one night stand. We don't want one night stand for the long term. Well, we want ten, at but, least ten. But, but can yeah. you, I'll call but that long. Like, can you admit though that there are the aspects of short term sexual where she just fucks you? She's done. It's casual sex. It's what happens. But in it's Vegas, useless. Stays in Vegas. It's useless to yeah. think of short term yeah. for the man mm-hmm. because what you're farming is. Stuff that make you a worse player. What's the point of that? I mean, dude, I agree. But I only ever had one one night stand in my entire career. If you're going to put the effort into legit. sleep he's with legit. a woman, you stay with them. That's then how you're legit. One hundred percent. Have you ever? I say the biggest loser is not the guy who goes home without the girl because he actually saved a bunch of money. Yeah. <laughs> but the biggest loser is the guy who fucks that girl. Oh man, she's so great, and he wakes up blocked, and for the next four Absolutely. to six months. His game is weaker. Yeah, yeah she traumatized him because she shifted his worldview. That never happened. That's what trauma is. Yeah, when yeah. It's this a is, shift he moves this is, too fast. This, so this I am very against most. hookups. Yep. you better own that pussy. This is one of the main issues that I have uh, uh, sometimes with my mm. clients is that all of a sudden, because what he's talking about networking, that's what I teach in my course, Men of Action. As you move up, all of a sudden these guys are at Playboy level parties, maximum yeah. level parties, and the girl they accidentally end up having sex with is hotter than anyone they've been in their life, mm-hmm. and that girl is like, "No, I'm going back to my husband. Sorry, like blocked." And but it hurts. It's not like. When you play when you play poker at the five dollar a hand table, it hurts. Yeah. But when you when you move up to a thousand dollar hand, it really fucking hurts. And it's almost like it's better to not get to the Super Bowl than to lose the Super Bowl. That's how the guys feel at the end. So you're right. You're definitely yeah. right about and that. And you gotta remember though, if she fucked you ten times, you could probably keep that around for years. But if she fucked you once, oh the ball is not in your court. You're fucked. Yeah. And what happens is when you keep her for longer, more photos with her, more social proof. All the other chicks start to flock. Right, on this topic, George, can you put me up real quick? All right, so let's, uh, you guys can, it's got the, uh, the, the uh, text on screen there. What would you want his income to be? I feel like this is going to sound bad. I feel like, like 300000 I would have to say 127 Probably 150 to a quarter of a million a year. $500,000? <laughs> is that bad? One hundred and fifty, maybe to two hundred and fifty thousand a year, it would be comfortable. What kind of stupid ass sure. question is this? I was just having this stupid. conversation with my friend, and she was like, "You have to manifest a husband, girl." <laughs> I do. You manifest my her. Got it. husband needs to be making like six hundred fifty thousand. So you said you want five hundred k, but what do you think the median income is for a thirty-year-old? Sixty k, seventy k. It is forty-five thousand dollars. Oh my God! Really? Yeah. I think it's two hundred fifty thousand. What? It's fifty two thousand. What? No, it's not. <laughs> 50, Damn, 50, America. <laughs> All right, real quick, before before we go on, ready, ladies. The average North American male in the United States is making how much a year? Allie. Thirty eight thousand. About that much. How much? You? What do you think? Well, I mean, forty, right? Forty. Yeah, 40 what do you video. think? Forty thousand. What do you think? I would say around fifty. Fifty. Mm-hmm. I say 38, 40, 30? somewhere in there, yep. Yeah, about 40. It's about 38. Okay, now the top 10% of wage earners in the United States make how much? What do you think? I don't know. You don't know? Are we talking about the 1% here? Or top, are we 10%, about? top 10%. 80, top 10%. 80, huh? 400K. 400K, what do you think? It's actually a bunch. Ooh, um, I, I don't know, 500,000. 150. 150, what do you think? 300. 300, what do you think? 80. 80, it's about 173,000. The top oh, cool. 1% of wage earners in the United States, what do you think they make? No. No. Well, um, man, three hundred k then, based on this. No. What do you think? I, I don't know. I think it's over. How much? Two fifty. What do you think? Four. Four. <laughs> John already knows. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, what's funny is all those girls in that video. Yeah. You don't want to know the income that fucks those girls. Yeah. That's depressing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's very. What do you think? 
Uh, yeah, right. Um, <laughs> why, is God, why is it just about income? Can it not just be no, 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 no. Time, time, out, time out, Coco. They made it about income. Real quick, I'm asking you one more time. The, the top 1% of wage earners. Um, 300. It's about 450,000. Okay, now, the thing is, the thing is, I've done this show for a while. The first couple times we yeah. asked these questions, the numbers we got were out fucking rageous. Girls are like, yeah. uh, the average 10, top 10% makes 5 million a year. <laughs> I need a man who makes 10 million a year. How, much, how tall is the average man? He's 6 foot 2. Oh how many my. sexual partners does the average man have? He has 25. The average man has about 4. Public this is, education, I, I want to say that if, if, they, if their net income is 5 million, well, they're kind of stupid. They should not declare that. Of course, income. of course, you know they, know they should not. So they, they should of, not of, of course, you're correct. And that's the reason why when, but that's the thing. Yeah. You know, you understand that yeah. because you work with a company that buys real estate. Most people yes. have no concept of that mm -hmm. of that idea. And a lot of women, when they're talking about this, again, when we talk about don't yeah. understand male self help, yeah. it's, a, it's a function of he's got investments in real estate, he has investments in assets. She doesn't have any concept of that. It's just there's a pile of money, yeah. and she gets some of the money for the thing she wants, and there is no understanding of how the money was created. In your case, I, you're I a vice actually president. Actually, have a very I want to say, like, you know, people say feminist. I have a very menaced point of view on this matter, basically. Right? Menace. Menace. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of pro men on you this. You trained her right. Because I trained myself right. Thank you very much. Oh, you guys are not sexist couples? No, we're not sexist I thought I'm at the Red Pill house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we're, we're at the First I, Amendment house. By yeah, the way, can okay. you two move closer to, to Zarko, please? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah what I was going to say is that when I, when I moved to this country at the age of 19, Whoa. I was cleaning toilets for like eight bucks an hour, right? Minimum wage. Whoa. And I worked myself up to making six figures. And it's not that hard. And I had no family, no social security, nothing here, no friends. And guy, if I could make it without that, people working here have no excuses. How, like, it's a, you have to be very, like, lazy and not ambitious whatsoever to just to live off, like, 30, 40 grand as well, too. It is not that hard. It is possible for me that I, I didn't even speak English very well when I first moved here. Like, it's definitely possible to make more money than, you know, 30, 40 gig, basically, in my opinion. You know? So. Yeah, people just kind of get stuck senses. in their cycles, I think, I more than anything. It, so, yeah, they get okay, comfortable. Okay. They don't, they have not a lot of access to time, maybe. And then they're just follow up, follow up question. After having seen that video, do you have a different opinion on what Zerka was saying about how women are gold diggers? By the way, like you guys, again, mo half of you have been on my show before and you've seen the show before. The girls, whenever they have not been on the show or they've not been on Fresh and Fit, they come in there and it is five million every fucking time. Huh. And my boyfriend needs to make half a million dollars a year. That is one percent of wage earners in the United States and make half a million dollars a year. But the reason is specifically in Las Vegas, for those of you who live in Las Vegas, when we go out to see Drake at Excess, every table's a hundred K. So you get you start to believe that's what men are. And you also are surrounded by a bunch of dudes with fucking fake paddocks and rented Lamborghinis. And you start believing right. that that's what the world is. Like he said, perception it is works. reality. The hey, fake yes, Rolex gets your dick sucked. Uh, the fake, uh, I know a guy who photoshops Lambos in his Instagram photos. Yeah. And it works for him. They, faking you're rich wow. works. That women <laughs> How do not. How desperate. Well, I mean, that, I, that's a winner. That's, 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 that's desperate. Oh, men or women? Oh, I meant of the guy. That's, no, that's a I mean, man. women too, that's I feel like. No liability. Women too. No, but women too. I think it's yeah, yeah. a problem. It's Mike, like, no liability off the lot. That's a businessman. Fantasy <laughs> <laughs> Ferrari. Hey, you know what the depreciation for one day with a Lamborghini is? Zero. That's correct. Hey, you attract what you are. You know what And you get to write it off on your you get to write it off your taxes. You tell your accountant. I'm not saying he should marry him, but it's great farming experience like that when she thinks you're rich. When you have a fake watch, do you write that off? In your taxes, that like you tell your accountant you got your dick sucked. Is that how that works? You explain that to your accountant that way. You I have a know. fake accountant. Is that what it works? Fucking <laughs> <That's laughs> hilarious. It's so good. All right. So, did we have any questions? Because I know you had another clip that you wanted to play here. No, I, I just wanted but, to go around and say, yeah. do you have a different opinion of what he was saying? See, uh, he's putting in terms of like a gold digger. Like when I talk about gold digger, it's just a girl who is giving up the game. Like women love opportunistically men love idealistically and by i'm using opportunism in like the most like clinical definitions i can okay what i mean by that is women are looking for the long term they're looking for long-term security because for from the from the ages like 18 to 28 that's their window to lock down a guy who for the rest of their lives is going to provide financial security uh, what, uh emotional security uh, babies be a loyal dependable whatever you know off into off into perpetuity until they become like 80 or 90 years yeah, old right? you're I, saying they invest a lot women invest well, because, a lot when they, they get because they, they, get need, the wrong guy. they need they need long term security longer yeah. in life yeah. than they have to consult like the 10 year window to consolidate on I, that i i actually well, again, my views are a bit different from most women. Okay. My long-term security is myself, right? Amen. Sister. Because no matter uh, how hot I, I am and how great I'm, I am in bed, mm. at any minute, 
he might change my mind. Be like, hey, I don't love you anymore. That's Sorry, that, goodbye. Yeah, that's, right? that's, that's, that's Q Zerka. Right? Q Zerka. Get the holy water. No, but that for is, me, like, my best long term security is myself. So I mm -hmm. want to educate myself. I want to have been independently wealthy mm -hmm. for my husband. So I choose to be with him and he chooses to be with me versus mm -hmm. be like, oh, I got to be with him. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I got to behave. Otherwise, that's, I'm going to lose half of my money. You're like, no. That's exactly. I want to hear from him now. But would you want to hear this truth? Really? She makes her own money. She's got, she, dude, she's rich. That's what's awesome about her. This woman, if we, and again, like, you remember, she knows I divorced my ex-wife. It was my choice. I was like, you know what? I don't like, um, from my perspective, she's awesome, but there was a, an incident. Uh, she decided halfway through being married that she decided she didn't want to have kids. And that right. we discussed we were going to have kids. I know, but. And I said to her, I was like, listen, I'm going to divorce you over this. And she goes, I don't think so. I'm too beautiful. And I divorced her over it. I know, but mm -hmm. if we look at Freudian psychology and she's the independent, <laughs> that means in her subconscious, what builds in her psyche over years is that you're not protecting, providing caveman resources. Oh, yes. And it builds hidden resentment over years so she doesn't even know why she doesn't like you anymore oh, that's but that would if only you, occur if he wasn't taking care of himself that and only occur for that correct i'm not that i'm not providing oh, no 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 even if you're making money let's say she's making three times or whatever makes no difference that's you know a how huge I red for this flag woman? dude i'm going to blow your brain you know how i provide for her i cook for her yes i Amen. make the best food. Oh, honestly it. the would, best that's great <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, but that's great. But unfortunately, all of science disagrees with you. No, it doesn't. Freud. No, uh, you, evolutionary you, science. You know, you know I have a master's science. in psychology, right? I just want to be really clear. You're not dealing with an idiot here. I am well aware. Freud, first of all, did not talk about having provider and protector. Her he biggest issue is death anxiety. No, uh, that's not her biggest especially, issue. Her why biggest are you issue speaking is making sure for her and okay. telling her what she has? That's you, very we've odd. We've got five kids together. I promise you, her kids come death before anxiety. her. Death anxiety. I'm oh, you guys have five you. kids? You're not new? We have, yeah, we've been how long? years. We've been we're married. Ten years together. I look way too old. How, how long we've, have you guys been? We've been together for ten years. Oh, you are the anomaly. You could make it. We're not the well, anomaly. Our, our, our students do really you well. Have, hold on. Adam, Adam, wait, wait, Adam, wait, wait, there's wait, one wait. further alum, anomaly. Keep explaining. I thought you guys are newlywed with no kids. No, the no, keeps, no we have five kids. Explain the rest of the anomaly, though, Adam. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. No, I'll wait. I'll, I'll, I'll get that. I'll but get hold on. That. Anomaly. Oh, you you know, blown, but yeah. check this out. It might blow my brain, but anomaly just means I'm still right. Except all That's our right. students also You're giving, get the same result. No, no, right? This is whoa, a key component. Whoa, 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 whoa. How we many students got your life? 350,000 students we've trained over the last 18 years. Not all my students have my life correct, but... How many of them, their girls in my making more? In my wait, I never said she makes more. I said she oh, was... Oh, what? I said that she, she was... She does well. Independently Oh, that's different. Who's she, making more money? He's the provider. It's irrelevant. We both well, she, does it did she say that or am I hearing? I've never said that. No, I said that, that. I, 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 oh, I want to know who makes more. That's the big that's the big we're, thing. We're married, so the money is joined. Yeah, you're oh, right. On paper, no. actually. Okay, Rolla, help me out here because it's like. His if money she's is her money more, and her money is her money. No, yeah, that's <laughs> not actually, no, exactly. <laughs> so, so I'll, actually, I'll explain the structure because obviously we do mergers and acquisitions, is what we do. <laughs> mm. So I actually sublet her company to get her services for work for my company. She acts as vice president at our company and I pay her for that service. Oh, you make more, definitely. Her company. You definitely make more. Well, no, it depends. It, actually, she profits more than I do. I know the answer to this, but the chat is because, asking. Well, it, it's irrelevant. Do you, do you have an open marriage? That's a great question. Um, I'm going to let you answer. Yes, we do. I, I allow okay, you I, I, I owe you $10. Wow. Or whatever. <laughs> Everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. Time out. Time out. Eve, 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 go ahead and talk. Eve, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Spotlight on me. Um, well, this one? man requires a lot of attention and a lot of, well, you heard him, right? He's very mm -hmm. sexual active and stuff, too. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. And he requires a lot of attention. Like, <laughs> so I actually, again, feel secure enough. He is a great partner. He's a great father. He's a great, you know, partner in business, partner in life. So he is totally open to see other women. Was it always open, or did this? Yeah, was like a yeah. I start. Okay. I start seeing him. We had another um, girlfriend basically at the time when we started dating. So we, started, we were in a three-way relationship for a very long time, actually for like six years. Actually. Now, now, long term. now, this is where it flips because yes, a woman can have way more partners than a guy in an open, but a Max Trinity high-value male, he's fucking way more than her. Way more, right? You have yeah. She doesn't date anyone else. Of course. Oh, you're, it's not open on her end? I mean, she... I, I, well, we, I mean, it Good could job. be, but... Good job. Nice. Wow. <laughs> that's red as fuck. That's I, I had different fuck. priorities, basically, right? So. Oh, that's not an open It's then. actually a favor to her. It's not really an The word is polygyny. The word is, the word is yeah. polygyny. Yeah. You don't want to say open. 
It's it's technically not open. That's why. Don't think you have destiny. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's very. <laughs> so, so, you know, so, well. Just in, like we were on the Steve Harvey show, the Today Show, like cementing. They sent documentary people to our house to confirm that this is real. Like, yeah. No, no. They, if is, it's closed on her end, that's a real relationship. It's, it's, it's but not, I, I yeah. still think a regular mar- marriage is better. Well, I mean, it's future its own, right? Yeah. Exactly, right? So it's, it's, for example, you know, he likes eating all of steak, right? If I eat just four ounces, I'm full, right? The king eats like 25, right? No, I'm saying I'm, so I don't, don't want to eat that much steak. I, so I'm like, saying I only start chucking my spear if it's open on the woman's end. But if it's like this, uh, you know, do your thing. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. But like, and again, but this, I think this is the key point, right? Mm. Um, dating, especially like the, the whole male movement, goes in cycles. Yeah. So pre-19, or sorry, like pre-2003, everyone believed you had to be good looking, rich, successful, have a high social work to get successful. Look at all the movies, they were all about that. After 2003, we have the game come out with Neil Strauss and everything shifts. Uh, we become conscious about mystery. Suddenly, you no longer need to be rich, successful. You can be smooth talking. You can be that guy that just listens to her at night and she cries onto your shoulder and you can succeed. After there was no, that guy head- doesn't succeed. Yes, he does. He oh, absolutely, yes, he does. You absolutely would be surprised. succeeds. Maybe short term, maybe some not even sympathy term, pussy. Dude. Sympathy no, no, pussy no, no, is no, succeeding. No, no. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather go to this guy. It's- what kind of cold? <laughs> no, I really need to know what kind of cold, broken, empty vessels are you dating? Yeah, what That's yeah. what I need to know. Who broke because your heart? Your experience of all kinds. Yeah, but, ta- but Taylor, is the, severely Taylor, hot. they're hot though. They're fucking hot though. Hot, hot as to what? Like because they're aesthetically, they got some tits and ass. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I, I know I look like that guy. That's not a high quality you, woman no, 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 because you, she's hot. So no, no. you're going for low quality bait. I'm, I'm just, go- go- just Google me. Easy. You'll see me dating for, let's say, a paralegal, a doctor, all sorts. Smart. Yeah, you smart care woman, about smart traditional woman. values. You, I mean, that's clear. You care about traditional values and, and good women. Like, that's what you're after. That, and that's obvious, by the way. I, oh, yeah. That, that, that's, that's why clear. I give the marriage. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Right? How many, yeah. How many, if you're not a Christian, you're going to hell. How many, how many, <laughs> how many women at this table would be okay with this setup? With closed on your end, open on his end. Oh, they're, hey, what up? Polygyny. Oh, you yeah, already my, my shit bucket list. It's okay. <laughs> yo, yo, this <laughs> one is... She's in love with you. Trust okay, me. Okay, let's go. <laughs> how many, how many so women would be okay you're with that? Not, you're not leaving the house. Yeah. Would you be okay with this? I like this. No, I believe in a traditional marriage. Closed on his end, closed so on So monogamy. Closed on both. Monogamy. I've been in all different types of relationships. Yeah. So I've been in a situation like this before, so I could say that I could be in that situation, but in the situations that I felt that I was closest with someone... I don't know if that would work. So it's kind of a maybe. For so I've heard this from women before. It's like you're right. more comfortable having threesomes with men you don't care about exactly. than the ones you do. Hundred yeah. well, percent. Well, Sounds you, like a ladies, short-term ladies, sexual ladies, thing. Ladies, there. You, ladies, you need to fix that. Well, you need to fix that. Yeah, right I agree. Now. That's, no, you that's, need to fix that. That's guys. fucking backwards. Ladies, you gotta make sure that you give your best sex to your best man. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Ding 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 ding. Ladies, let me explain something. You want you want to piss your man off? Do this real quick. Do this. Talk about all the threesomes you used to have before you were with. Him. <laughs> Tell him, talk about all those threesomes you used to have. Tell him all about those fucking threesomes and how I don't do that anymore because I care about you I so much. <laughs> I don't see you the same way. I don't have all those threesomes I used to have. Oh, don't worry. We're going to get, get, we're gonna get to the Adam 22 bit here. Yeah. Yeah. For me yeah. He said, I know how this is going to turn out. I know how this is going to turn out. Because you were In having morning, threesomes? We're all gonna, no, no. We all had one together yeah. that night. Okay. My guy. He left. We didn't. We didn't even finish the deed because he's like, my chick is gonna be mad in the morning. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I am not gonna even put myself in this position. He's an idiot. He's crazy. That he if you don't want her yeah. to get mad, when no, you, when, and I was so happy for it. I respected him, and our relationship was so strong after which, that. Which is great, but, but again, he I didn't need gold. to do that. It goes the other way. He, the reality is, most people just need to say the mm-hmm. truth. Totally. If you want to have totally. threesomes, you need to say, hey, this is who I am. 100%. This is what I do. If Allie, would you be okay with this shit? Tell me about it. Do you want to close on his end? Sorry, there's two alleys. This is I'm confusing. So, I'm sorry, alley cat. Cat. I'm just going to close. Yeah, cat's fine. That's fine. Um, I am Polly. I would okay. not do an open close. So it's open, open, or close, close? Yes. Uh, so either I or, usually or? do not have multiple partners just because I'm fulfilled with one, but I like to have the option. It's only fair that way. Okay, How about so. the other alley? I've... I've uh, my, engaged that's in my brain. alley. Your alley, correct. Uh, uh, alley Zerka, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's closed on her end. If she stays in the doghouse and waits for me. I'm, I'm pretty feral. I'm like an alley cat. Okay, we can get her in the house. Let's go. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, th what I'm saying, and this is a key component, is the dating industry has moved. Like, so I've been in this industry for eight, uh, 18 years, I've seen it. We're now in the world where now everyone's saying, you have to be rich, you have to be good looking. Kind of exactly what Zerk is saying, which does work, but it's not the only way. And we're already seeing a resurgence of the alternate version. Well, I didn't say rich. rich. I think a man Short on a yacht. Status, yeah. A man on a yacht will lose someone, lose to someone yeah. who has half of the trinity of status, looks, and network. Even half of it. So, so we have a trinity as well, but our trinity is different. So ours is like we've been teaching the ACE formula for seven years and uh, seven years, and the ACE formula is abundance, confidence, and the ability to escalate. Abundance is having a group of women that you're friends with that you'd be open to dating that you do not date. Second, confidence is the ability to what? have a conversation without <laughs> weirding somebody out, without making them feel strange, and get used to talking to women. Dude, you don't sound like a PUA to me. I gotta be honest with Thanks, you. Thanks, man. You last, don't. Stop the cat. 18 years. And then the last one is escalation, the ability to know how to arouse a woman. Now, this oh. is the kind of stuff that, you know, we're going back to like Casanova's techniques. Mm -hmm. Casanova was ugly, unattractive, and had no status. It's and women were dating him exclusively. They were not sleeping with their husbands to go with him because he had a way with words. He what? gave them romance and music. All I heard was I got a trademark Trinity. You have a you have a three thing too. Absolutely. Because yeah. abundance. And how's his trademark? Yeah. For abundance. <laughs> no, that's great. But we don't teach escalation. We actually teach de-escalation. Where if you drop her anxiety and she says, "Hey, you want to come home with me?" Do not talk in that Uber ride. Everything you say is gonna dry her up. You stay quiet. If she says you're coming home with me, she's fucking. Stop. You close your mouth because we just want the anxiety to <laughs> no, zero. Right. 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 And, and we don't teach to escalate. <laughs> Who we the hell we you're dating? We don't, we don't, yeah. no, 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 but in 2023, escalation means an, an R word charge. Yes. No, no, and no, and no, it's no, very no, dangerous. No, 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 you no, can't no, just no, go no, in for a kiss bro, anymore, bro. This is 2007. Dude, sure. psychologists have known for years there are 12 steps to physical escalation. You cannot skip them, you will go through all 12. The word you're looking for is consent. And we've been teaching consent since 2008. You do not get any kind of R accusations if the woman is begging you to fuck her. You just said women are. You just said women are logical if you follow these steps. No, That's I never said dangerous. that. No, you said if you follow these steps, you're safe. Twelve steps of physical escalation. It's been identified by psychologists. It happens. I think always. It's much better to take your time. You should. That's the point. I agree. And, and I, I'm saying no days. I'm not saying hours. Dude, I'm saying days. I never said hours. Where she jumps said, on your lap, dude, you never me, escalate into her lap. No, dude. Right. Let me let me help you. Of course she has to jump in your lap, but it's your verbal escalation that will make her want to do that. You have to know how to arouse her, how to talk to her in a way that she. Dirty can't talk is the it. most important. That's yes. right, which is part yes. of escalation. Absolutely. And so I don't think you're doing it wrong. I'm saying the de-escalation is just the beginning part of escalation because you have to start from but, zero. But what I see in the what I see the red pill community is. Dude, they're trying to be alpha so hard that they're like going right. way too fast. Agreed. Bro. And I'm like, this is the yes. one time yes. less is more. Yes. But do you know where the red pill came from? I think homosexuality. No, I'll, 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 I'll tell you So the origin of the red pill, and I was talking to Mike about this. I'll share it. I've been waiting to share this public, but I'll tell you guys. Uh, the red pill movement started with a podcast called The Barry Kirky Show. And Barry Kirky was hanging out with the old PUA community back in the day. And Barry Kirky made fun of pickup artists because he was a comedian. He wanted to be a comedian. And he developed an audience, a following, that absolutely hated pickup artists. What Barry Kirky would do was randomly turn up to PUA conventions and jump out on you with a microphone and be like, you're on the Barry Kirky show. And then he would like throw random things at you like, how often do you jack off? Like these stupid questions. I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> I freaking loved the show. One day, Barry Kirky realizes that his audience have become very, very toxic. And uh, the PUA community obviously loved the Matrix movies. They came out around the same time, right, 99 through, uh, you know, early 2000s, which is when the PUA community was there. So we came up with the idea of the red pill versus blue pill. The red pill was we have seen the Matrix, which meant you could understand what attraction looked like. The blue pillars were everyone that didn't do it. So the people from the Barry Kirk show, the fans, started a new website called PUA Hate. PUA oh, hate yeah. was where they would go online and just hate on pickup artists. I know I was absolutely featured on there countless times. Shout out to PUA hate. Boy, so, those are the good old days, aren't they? Trust me, you want to hear the whole story. And the chat goes crazy. Next up, um, there was a guy called Mr. M who was my old wingman from back in the day. And Mr. M was getting attacked. Unfortunately for PUA hate, Mr. M was a lawyer in his real life. He hid his identity for a very long time. Oh, no. When a lawyer goes after a website, the website goes down. And so the website got taken down. After PUA hate went down, they went for somewhere to go. They started 
started a Reddit called the Red Pill, and that's where it came from. And that is the original of how the entire thing came right. from. The hatred. My, my hatred for Red Pill is mm -hmm. only when my child was like, dude, you made 20,000 fucking dollars a month for a year picking up hot women. Are you ever going to tell us what the fuck you're doing? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's bo I'm not the analytics guy. I don't want to break it down. But when I, when I saw how much money I can make breaking it down, I was like, okay, maybe twice a week. That way I can have like nice cars and stuff like that. <laughs> and I started doing it. And then I started realizing, oh my God, this community is filled with fucking amateurs that are fucking up my guys. They're yep. hearing one bad thing. I'm telling you, if it's Rolo, me and Myron in a room, I feel Red Pill is badass. 99% of Red Pill channels on YouTube will get you tased well, and maced. Well, because they, There's so much bad they, advice. Because they've because appropriated, they've appropriated hey, can we, can the we, term. Can we talk about, because I, 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 yeah. I think you guys both agree on this one point. Yeah. It is, um, I've always had a problem with like a physical escalation in a nightclub that goes too far. Yep. Because the, like what you said before about the R charge, mm. and also like, we're not good, this isn't Jamaica, we're not going to fuck in the club, yep. right? So let's wait, till, <laughs> let's, let's wait till we get to a place where we can have sex before we escalate. So that's one thing I yep. tell my clients for two reasons. Now, I don't teach a dating course like you guys, but number one, because I think it works better. And number two, let's let's stay out of the, you know, let's stay out of prison. So like that's the reason why I teach that. Let's not escalate until we get to a closed place, maybe not in front of her friends, also, that kind of thing, just because it might be a little bit safer. My my Always. whole thing is I tell my community all the time, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm projected to make 1.8 million this year with our series coming out, but I really recommend don't buy my shit and just go through Freud psychosexual theory yeah but they won't fucking even the smart ones who finish university no, i can't i'm too 90 percent. what 90 i did of the i did adderall and cocaine and i got it done <laughs> they don't have the interest to understand a woman's psyche and they're like we like when you break it down in a funny way and i'm like you want me to do it you really yeah, watch me price a, this up you're the, you're the, the, a, you're yeah, the andrew course. dice clay of, yeah. the, of the red pill that's yeah. what you are basically but, yeah. but there are a lot of guys who are good with women they pick up on exactly what Rolo tells them what to do. Great advice, but mm. they cannot explain what Correct. they're doing. That's where the mess up comes. There's always this Frisbee Chad who gets women. Frisbee Chad. And he fucks Frisbee up the soy. Chad. Yeah, he fucks up the soy book. Because, like, I'm a big, scary guy, so I have to go way more into my female brain in psychology. Where when I pick up a girl, I go, man, you're fucking crazy. Ha, ha, ha. But if I'm a short little bitch, I have to maintain frame and authority mm -hmm. the whole date. So yeah, you got to do the, the hot little dog has to bark the yeah. loudest, yeah. and that's why I look I I look flamboyant with my movement when I talk mm. to her when I'm serenading the vagina, but <laughs> but but if I'm in a room with Hell's Angels, my movement is rigid. I immediately switch. Nobody understands. If you're a Chad, you have to learn how to pick her up as a beta and an alpha because she will it's test both. Congruency. And you but you guys teach and you guys are always right. You guys teach that there's a very huge lack of alphas on Earth. Yeah. And what what is an alpha if you define? Because uh, this is a hard one, right? So if you want to do this from like a you know like objective and subjective, mm -hmm. alpha when we talk about from taxonomy is like so we have a silverback gorilla or uh, a elephant bull seal. That's one. That's one for every ten, right? For Homo sapiens, I think it's probably sixteen percent of men that would be in that situation. The reason why I bring that up is because when you look at Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge, you have twenty percent of men getting eighty-three percent of the right swipes, which means the top eighty percent of men are competing for seventeen percent of those men. Mm -hmm. Also, one one other thing before you go on, um, the, you have thirty-three percent of men probably in that area that have had zero sexual partners in the last year, and you have the top five percent of men with one hundred and fifty sexual partners. So when you look at this scale, it goes like this, like a hockey stick, which would in, in, indicate to me. If you want to make that, that's not the obviously. There's other reasons to be an alpha male, right? You're a mm -hmm. firefighter. You're a military commander. I'm just saying when it comes to women choosing men to have sex with, there's a small group of men that are getting a disproportionately this, large amount of sex. This fax machine, and that's just value. You guys better subscribe, but check this out. <laughs> I actually, the point, I, I can't believe you did all that. That was great. But I, what I want to ask is like, let's say, you, let's say you like one of these girls as a friend. You want to help her out. Mm -hmm. What would you tell her? Hey, look for these things. This is a real alpha. That guy's a phony. That guy's a yeah. It's action. It's one hundred percent action. The mm -hmm. big the biggest problem is was, this is yeah. the thing when a man uh, when a man wants to have sex with you, he has sex with you. When a man wants to marry you, he marries you. When women are and like, now, what? now look what you said, identical to whether you look at Masonic literature or psychology. When you said action, you said active, which is the solar male principle. The female is passive, the moon. The sun is active. You said his temperament has to be active. Get up. We're going to eat. Get up. We're going to fuck. 
actually get on your knees. Suck dick. But you, what you said there is the best definition of masculinity because I hate when people say muscles because you can yeah. have all the muscles on earth. Right. Khabib is choking you the fuck out. Yeah. I think I think another function as far as masculinity, because you asked about alpha male, is willing to die for your tribe because that's an evolutionary adaptation. This is the reason why forty percent of men have reproduced and eighty percent of women, and that we the reason why we know this is because we can trail Y chromosomes throughout history. Also, go ahead. What you just said there is man willing to die for his tribe. Yeah, you just admit only religious men are alpha. Well, That's I think exactly. Military, atheists military will man. never oh, die yeah. for their tribe. Well, I mean, military men. I mean, I, I have my point of unpopular opinion on this as well. Go ahead. Too. In my experience, so if any man said that they alpha, they're actually not alpha. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Seriously, That's though, who talks so, about it? It's yeah. like Fight Club. Like, alpha you know, doesn't don't do talk that. about I'm an alpha. But yeah. when you look well, at like that, because, it's because you, you have to demonstrate and not explicate. But, but the, if the you're problem, talking about it, you're not doing it. The problem is, Taylor, you're talking about from an individual point. Of course, I'm not going to say I'm the most humble motherfucker there is. Of course not. But from a population standpoint, there must be a way to 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 say this person is the alpha male. I know when I was sitting there talking to the other lieutenants when I was in my squadron, they would listen to me because I was a captain. When the colonel walked in, we all stood at attention. It was very clear. Was very contextual. When I when I'm going to dinner for my birthday and everyone's staring at me, everything's cool. We would go into a club. Uh, what's his name? Calvin Harris would start playing. Now everyone's facing Calvin Harris. Alphaness is contextual, mm -hmm. but over a course of a life, there has to be some way to measure these qualities. There's, there's one easy, like let me. There's really easy way to spot I got alpha. A, I got a question going. I, I, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah. Ahead, and so so here's what I love. I love looking at the animal lions because my last name's lions, but also I just love lions. And the alpha male, you can always spot him because he's chilling out, relaxing, and surrounded by women. You want to see a real alpha male? It's when they're relaxed and they're surrounded by women. The women want to be with him, which is oh, really? the yeah, uh, always. Yes. Yeah, always. Yeah, well, he's the guy that other yeah. men want to be so, so and other right. women want to fuck. Yeah. But, and how can we spot the beta male? Yeah. The beta male is the one that comes to challenge the alpha. Screaming, mm -hmm. shouting, roaring, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then what's the alpha male's first reaction? He fucking yawns. He's literally saying, oh, you are boring. Mm -hmm. I am relaxed, I am chill, bro, walk away. And despite what uh, documentary movies will make you think, most of the time, lions don't fight. Mm -hmm. Because if they get injured, even if you win, there's no hospital. I mean, the, the male lion sleeps all day because, and the females aren't because one male lion can fuck up 30 females. Yeah. So he's waiting to fight, fight the other male. That Just like a rooster can fuck up a thousand female chickens, women can't fight or, or females can't fight. But the way I, we break down uh, alpha and beta, I, and it kind of, it's like a marketing term really, but it's zeros and ones. She either likes you or she doesn't. You know she respects you. When I walk in a room, all my bitches, oh, they stand up straight. But if the girl's on her phone and she looks up and then looks back down, that bitch don't fucking respect you at all. They fix their there hair when you walk in a there room. There we go. You, you, and if you can't pick up on these social cues, Let me ask you're that. a fucking so, 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 that, that goes, you that you goes, goes hold, hold it real quick. That goes to my question, with the respect. Ladies at the table, have you ever fallen in love with or have you ever had sex with a guy who you didn't respect? No. In your past? No. No? no. Yes. And, yes. <laughs> I'll admit it. But, yeah. Was it a male stripper you, that you, you got from Thunder from Have you ever had you sex? Have you, have you ever been in love with a person, with a guy that you didn't respect? No. No? Cat? Probably. <laughs> trying to remember. Probably. Dude, there was, a, there, there was a lot of fucking Allie. Molly and yeah. you don't remember. <laughs> Allie had... Yeah. You've, you've, MDMA. You've, 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 uh, like, lost the respect in the relationship, but mm -hmm. still love them. But look at, look at the, look at the buzzword. That was like, let's, let's lost. Just... Like, it had Sorry. been there. And yeah. it went away. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah, I guess it, w it wasn't like from the get go. I've never been with someone like I saw and was like, ew, I don't respect you from the get go. Mm. So it was but a more transitional thing, I guess. That I got them say. again. I'm going viral now. This is admission of guilt. Because when I take, <laughs> let me just grab the tits of respect. Not guilty. No, no, no. Check this out. Yo, I'm going to nuke this. I'm going to nuke this, Rolo. If I start <laughs> fondling the word, the word respect and I strip it, they all just admit. Every guy they've been with was above them. No, I fucked them disrespectfully. How? <laughs> like, what? Like, I respect, I respect my friends. I respect my colleagues. That doesn't mean that I think they're above yeah, my right. That doesn't mean they're above. Me and the cope begins the cope Olympics. But did you see how I picked yeah. that up? This hold, is a hold fucking that, Hold genius. that thought. Go ahead, Kogi. You were going to say. Okay, so there are some Talking things... Talking to the mic. Talking oh, yeah, sorry. There are some things that you are saying that I can agree with as far as, like, yes, that 
men are the hierarchy in the relationship. The women are looking for this. But again, it doesn't necessarily that, and it could be the term that you're using, gold digger. That doesn't necessarily mean that a woman is always looking for this, that, and the third. You know, she could be happy if he was just content. Like you could find a good woman that has good values, that actually adores you and respects you and wants to take care I of you and I, play her role. I love fairy tales, but well, check this out. It is not, it is <laughs> oh not a fairy God. tale. It is not a fairy tale. But, but check, what, the, check this out. Why? You got to talk you 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 a lot. Again. Just I'm a second. It's all about the winning with you. Mike actually had made a comment that is very true. He says that men are a about men are about action but the thing is is that you're saying like all these women you know if she doesn't duh, 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 okay well i like the fact that you say that you don't want to sleep with them on the first date i'm a christian i do not sleep with people on the first date i actually don't sleep with men at all unless i'm actually in a committed relationship Amen. and i know that the red pill states <laughs> i know that the red pill <laughs> states that if the pu- if you have to wait the pussy isn't worth the wait but trust me mine is my skills are doesn't matter if he, if he has the same values in line with me that's great but I'll what, explain that for you but go ahead but when you're yeah, saying you're but when you're saying that you know like oh i'm just going to act like she's not fucking there and da 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 like that is a mental mind fuck on I'm, women like i no, am not going no. to chase I'm after a the, guy no that way. is going to sit here and pretend like i'm not even there oh yeah that's no, no, no. like i'm that's not even rubbish. interested in that if you are truly a high value woman right if There's no such thing as a high value well, woman. There's well, actually quality women. Okay, sure. Men are high value men. Thank, women are quality thank women. You, thank you for that. But check you're this welcome. out. If you're a pretty woman, do what NFL players' wives do. If you're gorgeous, send me. F- I want 42 missed calls and get clingy, and I'll fall in love. If you know you're gorgeous, Desire. get clingy yeah. and check this out. Your competition, ladies. I want to help you guys for once in my. I hate you guys, but I'll, I'll give you this. Right, because I get you know I need the liberals on my side. Buy my shit. Let's, <laughs> well, check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Just don't cut your dick off. But check this out now, ladies. When you are clingy, he really stops going to the club and starts staying home playing Xbox, getting head. He starts falling mm, for that comfort. Let me finish. No, let me finish. No, check this no. out. You ladies have to remember, when you're clingy, that man is your sword that you use. To flex on other girls. My man is a Charizard. Yours is a Charmander. My, he's got Charmander. a bigger sword. He's got a bigger sword, right? But when you try and compete with the man, he is gone. He'll disappear. If you just say, hey, you're my husband. You're above me. It's going to go great. Because what he's hearing is, I'm not getting cheated out of a divorce. I'm not losing half my stuff. He's going to fucking love you. I'm the dirtiest guy on earth. But two of the women who try and... One tried to cancel me. He's verbally abusive. He's this. He, she went on the internet. The whole internet was on my side because she was crazy. She had five therapists. You know, God bless her. But look at this. The point is, every girl who I've ever been with said the one thing he had is he's loyal. He does not cheat. He does not do red pill shit. He's, even when I wasn't a Christian, I like one girl at a time. I don't want to worry about fucking a stranger or what she's going to say. But you got to be looking like a model and clingy. And when I say clingy, I'm going to remind you, hey, you're 80% clingy. I need 99, bitch. And check this out. She then starts flexing me at brunch as the loyal Chad bo- husband, right? But when you women look at a man in the eyes and say, we're equal, he says, fuck, that's a man. I'm not that's saying, a man. I'm not saying anything about that. equal, but there's a difference men between being clingy and genuine desire. There is a difference, about clingy, genuine is a difference are, about clingy and genuine but desire. But are you equal with your last partner? Were you equals? I have never been equal with a man. So I he's always been above be you. He's always been above me. But God you're bless you. She admitted. Clingy, but she there's, admitted. A, there's a difference between genuine desire. A man needs a woman that has genuine desire. I have given genuine desire. But I picked up. I left my career. I sold my house. I moved to another state. I moved where I had no friends, no family, no nothing. Because my man told me that if you want to be with me, these are the things that I want to give you. This is the life I want to give you. Then you will do this for me. I did that. It's not you're about right. clingy. It's about genuine. But you're desire. saying all the women here are wrong because they're saying uh, my my guy is not above me. If you're saying it's That's above, you're opinion. the only one. Cr- their opinions wrong. Opinion. You can't speak oh. for us. You cannot. You cannot speak speak do you agree with her? All right. Was your last guy Domo. above you? Domo, go. Uh, <laughs> I just tell us about you your last guy. Understand that um, <laughs> you know I'm in a different type of industry and I have a different perspective in my relationships. 
I've learned Fortress. that when you're not clingy, your man is a lot more loyal oh, and yeah. actually wants to be around that, that, you. That just oh, yeah. means you're not attractive enough. Oh, yeah. yeah. You think that's my issue? You think if Miranda Kerr was clingy to any man in this room, you think we're cheating? You think if a beautiful model... I think insecure men need to be... Insecure I'm, men I'm need I don't even think men need to show that validation, that hole in yourself. The problem over is and models... Over and over again, all day long uh, by I'm somebody. I'm not clingy, that's, that's and I've had every you. man that's that I've been with, her. they want to get back if with If a me. woman's not clingy, she just doesn't think she's that attractive. That's you, not that true. That is not true. Like, where do these I'm ideas again, come out of your life? When a woman is sad, weak women who are... Actually, you're with Let's listen to John and uh, Ali are talking. Go ahead. Go what ahead. were you saying? You think I'm a clingy person? Well, way more than them. Our interaction, we were about to make out when we first met. <laughs> Look at these ladies. They're like stranger danger. And that, that laughing is she's admitting it's hey the truth. Right? She's getting out of the matrix. I check. thought it was hilarious, actually, what? because that's not it. I'm, I'm sitting here over here every time you said something dumb. I really actually wanted to just pluck your fucking leg hairs out. <laughs> help, help yourself. <laughs> that's what I was going for. I was like, hey, I'm, I'm, cu I'm curious about something because I know the two of you like vehemently disagree with what he's saying. Yeah. I Do you think with you. John does well with women? I'm sure he does. Okay, well what, what do you think, Taylor? Do you think John does well with women? That's a very loaded question. Uh, what with type a, of woman? A category. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just women. whatever he wants. I have been in a place in my life, and I will admit this, where I, in here, the case here we of go. what you were saying, I was younger, Speak didn't know my own worth, right. and thought that I was less than. No, you weren't ways, there. So I tolerated. You had a good dream. I tolerated <laughs> behavior like all this, yeah. this peacocking stuff that he does. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and I tolerated it. I thought it was cute, you know. But very peacock. The older you get, it's 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 old. Yes. It's tiring. It's like a child. It's like babysitting. I mean, I I, I don't I don't mean I, all of your values. I'm not saying I, I okay, agree I'm not with a lie. lot of your I'm traditional not values, I, but I, I have literally. 30 girls in each big international city and just the regular city. I'm not city. saying you don't get girls. Yeah, there's an I'm saying I'm if, sure I'm, if, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm getting surgeons, you. paralegals, doctors, cheerleaders, Dude, this is why like. Aren't I, you I, and I, who have you committed to? Why aren't you married yet? Who have you committed to? Why aren't you married yet? Why is why is why is marriage the litmus test? If I if I'm dating her, if I'm dating her, I'm not loyal. But if she. How she can damage my optics and say, like, when she says I'm John Zerka's girlfriend, and she can hurt my fucking business this and everything. This is the truth. This is where I'm loyal. This is the and truth. I'm not loyal for her. I don't give a fuck. I'm loyal for Christ. But, and oh, I, and, I, and remember, I have erectile dysfunction. I'm not that horny of a guy, so it's easy for me. <laughs> not I'm a very What's the longest relationship you've been in? Uh, two Zirka. years. That's the two years. So, two years. And for you were loyal during that time. You weren't seeing anybody else. 100. I was a drug dealer. I just stayed home, so people would pick up drugs off me, how, like a bunch of blood. How long ago was this? This is when I was 26. I'm 29 now. Okay, 20, 25 and minutes the la ago. last time I was You're loyal. You're a child. The last time I was loyal a child. was live. I broadcasted it, the whole relationship. Yeah, that's. And I was loyal for a year and a half, and I broadcasted the whole relationship while every girl at these conventions, Twitch, were trying to get at me, and I'd be alone with these girls. And then they leaked. So I'll, honest, he, I'll tell they, you they something. That I think I think Michael will agree with. I, I genuinely don't think that men become adults until they cross the age of thirty. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, it's not about being adults. You're, it you're, you're, the it's brain doesn't you, fully develop until you're twenty-seven. I'll tell you this: you what, won't admit that American women are whores. Like you won't admit it. I, I, you you won't that's admit a, that's it. not true. That's why. Why would I admit something that's obviously wrong false? With okay. American okay. Women. Most, most American women are let's not say, whores. Let's say this I have a statistical fact. Most? most men are whores. Yeah, most. Okay, what's most the body? Rolo, what's not. the body count of the average American woman at eighteen? Let's hit it. Higher at than eight, a man. At eighteen. Eight, at eighteen. How, how many bodies? Yeah, she, well, the average for the what is it? It's, it's, it's about four or five. At that four, age, four or five. Four or five. Yeah. That's right. lifetime. Let's say I'm to you. That's normal, right? I'm Albanian. To me, that's trauma. If I have a hundred million dollars, I can't even find a fucking virgin. What, Where do you find a virgin? What, what I'm. What, what, Why so does this she is have interesting. To be a so, so, wait, wait, no, 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 no. So no, 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 so no that's not the point. The point is whether I have five dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred million, or a billion, I won't get a fucking virgin. That's the point. I have the a question. point is. Virgins don't exist. My so first wife was a virgin, bro. <laughs> I love this guy. The anomaly. <laughs> she was a virgin from Texas Christian University. You're yeah. supposed to stay with that one. I didn't want to. She decided she didn't want to have kids, she so I divorced her because I've got virgin. game, bro. I can switch. You have five kids now. Why didn't you get a second virgin since you're the best? I didn't want a virgin. She wasn't good in bed. <laughs> you didn't want a virgin. She wasn't good in bed. She so, had no practice. So train her. 
No, dude, she was. I didn't want to put. You want a big black guy to train her? I don't need to pick up. Every girl, every girl that's good at sex, a big black guy trainer. No, I have a question. Who doesn't want a virgin? Do you want a virgin? Do you? Okay, so I've done that before. This is a little messy. Are we coping? Do you sleep around a lot? Do you sleep around a lot? He said no. I have a question, Feijan. He's not a virgin. Wait, 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 Do you feel lonely at night? Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Every single night, I bet. when I get head, <laughs> I still, I still feel lonely. I still, I bet. I, I it's, st yeah, you get yeah. sex. But no, no, because I'm confused. like, where's the virgin? But every single night, you said you don't believe in casual sex. So are you in a relationship? And you have right erectile now? dysfunction. Yes, that's my so girlfriend. That's my teenager. Who are you in a relationship with? Eighteen-year-old girl. Oh, okay. And how long have you guys been together? Three weeks. This is new. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but still, right? But He's not wrong. He, he was like, I, see, I, see, I see the Twitter. You see the Twitter? Yeah. I, see the Twitter. Yeah. I even posted that. I, I took out the address. Okay, so, 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 so let's talk. Uh, 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 let, let's talk like about this. So let, there are two, two things I want to talk about. Uh, dating younger women and passport bros, because he brought this up earlier. So do you, any of you ladies have any issue with the fact that men do like to date younger women? On average, women usually choose a man about three years younger. And from a psychological standpoint, men, or uh, we had Richard Reeves here, yeah. and uh, men... Men mature about a year, year and a half slower than women do. Go ahead. Younger because they want more purity. That's why men. I'm, I'm so sick so of that fucking word. So he's saying he doesn't want really purity. Am. He doesn't really want a virgin. Well, what does but it mean? See, I'm, 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 okay, so here's I'm, here's here's. I'm, the I'm thing. asking. Whenever, genuinely. Whenever we apply words like purity stuff, we're, at, we're, we're every girl that's been at this table has said, "Who hurt you? What's the pit in your soul? Are you lonely?" <laughs> every single one of those things is emotional language, right? You're not responding to him like with empirical data. You're not saying you're not coming at him like saying like from a logical perspective. It's always who hurt you. Uh, lonely, that's an emotion. Who hurt you? Hurt, that's an emotion. Um, and so when we're looking at, another thing is purity. I'm so fucking sick of that, that <laughs> word right now because really you're not talking about purity. You're talking about a woman who is a good bet for your investment for your future children. That's what it's really about. You want a woman who's going to be loyal, who's going to actually give you the babies that are your genetic biological babies. Well, that's what it I, comes I, I down to. We, have, we apply know. an emotional word like purity to it because it sounds religious, because it sounds good. Because what should I say, virgin? Plays, should I say virgin? Well, even virgin it, it implies it has the connotations that I mean, a virgin. Why, we, what, why do word? we want? Why do we want a virgin bride? Because we have assurances in our evolutionary past. We have insurances that if she's a virgin, the kids coming out of that womb are my fucking kids. That's what it boils down to. It's pragmatism. It's primal. Has it's always nothing primal. to do. Has nothing That's to do with religion. Tell, tell, nothing Adam, to do tell with Adam twenty two. Nothing, nothing to do. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Adam, are you listening? Okay, Adam twenty two. Good, good. Good segue. When we. When, what if when his Adam, kid starts turning black well, right now? <laughs> <laughs> what a five year old. Probably will. So Stop you, you want to know? Stop deflecting. So you want to know? You want to know? My friend okay. Adam. So Adam twenty two. <laughs> Adam twenty two, who I know is probably going to watch this. So I'm just going to say it right now. The reason you're having a problem with your wife banging other people, and the reason why it, it, it feels bad, and you're not actually insecure, you are actually more secure because you feel jealousy. Because you, do, on a primal level, you don't know that the babies that are going to come out of that womb are going to be your babies. That's why jealousy is on, a, on a feature, primal level. not a fucking yes. bug. Yes. It's not doesn't make you insecure so, to feel and jealousy. And that's psychology. It oh, makes oh, you well, and, feel and, you and are so, so, generation so, to generation. So, so, so let's let's just let's just be clear on this. You right? are the descendants he, and, of men who felt jealousy. Yes, correct, correct. For so, their I will forget my thought. I'm not smart. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, women hate when I say this, but every time I'm alone with them, they go, "It is true." the highest level of arousal a woman can experience yeah. is a jealous husband. Yeah. That is the most her pussy will explode into a fucking Blastoise. A wo if me, you, if a woman doesn't have a jealous husband. Hold on, hold on. Let me <laughs> John, 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 let me stop you there because I'm going I'm to ask, ask Adam a question. Now, you know Mystery Method, correct? Absolutely. Okay, so you then you know that Mystery said that a woman cannot fall in love with you unless she feels jealousy for you. Does, does that gel with what? Uh, no, I, I don't follow mission method. I don't believe in it. So you yeah. don't, you don't no, think a woman can't love you I believe a woman jealousy. falls in love with her own investment. The harder she works for Agreed. a guy, the more likely she's. But is she going to fall in love if she doesn't feel like she's going to lose that investment, or there's some sort of I, competition anxiety, or there's some some urgency? Wait, what, what's the point? Yeah, I, what's I, I the think, point think, of that, Brola? What's the point of asking if, if she falls in love? Love is fleeting. So look at when does she fall in love? Looking at the love part is kind of crazy because she, she's going to fall out of it. Well, 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 why do you believe love what? is fleeting? 
Well, I mean, are you fucking the same at 50, 60? Give me a fucking break. Yes. Fucking hope but I am. that's so. I'm for, that's I'm not for, not for right. this year. I you need an eight ball. You're going to need an eight ball for me. Yours to fucking You're saying you're going to Nobody. Yeah. Bl- it's not love. You okay, can be in love at 50. So fucking 10 times a week versus so once at 60. That's sex. You're talking about sex. But is that the same level of love? That's not love. You're computing love to sex. This is why you guys don't get it, and liberalism totally fried you guys. You don't get married for love. You get married so you don't end up alone. You want to walk through the gates of heaven? Another no, you thing. Get, you get and Alzheimer's. Benefits. And, and another thing. If you're in an open relationship, the older you get, the the fa- the fa- the faster you will when your when your woman doesn't have genuine burning desire because she sees you fucking all these other bitches and she has a guy or whatever, you get Alzheimer's faster. We've seen couple <laughs> I love this guy. What? I want the I want the stats wow. on this. I need to see this. I need the data. Give me the data. data. This is crazy. Hey, we lost audio. Uh, and audio. Oh, I love you, dude. Hey, we lost dude, audio. Guy. What is this? Oh, the... shit. We're getting new. Can we grab George? Can somebody go grab George, please? Yeah. John, I fucking love you, dude. Like, dude, I <laughs> fucking love you. Okay, hey, guys, if you can if put a one in the chat if you can hear us. We've lost audio. Hold on a second. Wait, we'll do it live. I have here. audio right uh, now. You can hear us? I can hear everybody. Right oh, now. I can hear everyone. I was on it. Oh. My bad. Okay, cool. Oh, Put a one in the chat if you if uh, you're uh, they hear us? got yeah, audio. The oh, they can see us. Check, check, check. Oh, uh, guys, can you guys hear me on the on the on the headphones? We got a one. We got a one. Who's in the chat. Got a one what's in the chat. going okay. on? Who's going on? John, put it on your put it on your head. Put it on your head. There you go. Okay, cool. I have I have no more. Close to the mic. Give him feedback in his ears. All right, I I have no audio. Dude, I have audio. Everything they can hear us. Do your fucking jobs. You want these on? We're good. We're good. No, oh put God. put, put them on. Put them on the yeah. mic. Yeah, don't put them on the mic. mic. Check your, uh, That's like a good mic in yeah. a mic. Is, uh, I can't. I can't tell. Go. I can't I can see. Hear it from here. Did somebody kick right. something? Your audio's good. All right, we're good. Okay, cool. So right. I can't hear myself anymore. I can still hear him through yeah, his own. All right, just just put that down. That's fine. Yeah, you don't need it on. Yeah, put it on the <laughs> ground. <laughs> yeah. So something happened where I lost my audio and he's getting double audio. That's what it sounds like. That's why he's getting uh so it's so loud there. All right, cool. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, what what uh, what are the questions that you have? Right, right. I was about? just gonna say, are we on? Yep. yep. You know, raise your hand if you laughed at what I said that regular mm-hmm. traditional couples age slower than all these others. I I, I laugh because it's not true. Can confirm. It's hysterical. <laughs> so if I post it on Twitter tonight, let's bet some money. If you if I post the studies on Twitter, are you willing to bet some money? No, wait, let's get. Let's no, no, get, I want to know. No, 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 I got you. I got a real answer. Are you I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm about to fuck with you, both you, of you. You bet money? Roll wait, 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 no, dude. It. Here's the thing. Oh, Anyone yeah. can find a study to support one Coke. point. That's true. Coke. No, 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 that's no, a fact. That's true. No, that but but you guys said I want to see that study. No, no, I never said I want to see that study. Who's confirmation bias? You said you want to see the study. It's just confirmation bias you're looking for. Is it? It's a waste of time if I don't see a thousand dollars on the table. It's a waste of my time. You can do. You can do dueling research all day long. He's not wrong, but like, especially in the age of the internet right now. But I will tell you this. Okay, between the two of you, how old do you think I am? Roll. I'm not gonna lie. You look good, dude. I reckon. Yeah, I mean, you look good. I reckon you're in your fifties. Good skin. You're 45. No, Thank I would you. say 50. I, uh, I'm going with 45. Hey, no. uh, Ali has to go to work. Give her a hug. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa, wow. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I gotta come back here. Forget fresh and fit. Okay. Wow. Wow, I have was, a girlfriend, wait, remember? Help, yeah. That's my girlfriend, okay. Is that, uh, you have a teenage girlfriend, remember? Hey, uh, hey, <laughs> hey, uh, hey uh, oh, are you working all night? Loyalty are you coming Jesus. out? Hey, you want to meet us at, uh, meet us at right. Zoo? That was... We'll meet you Sex right. me. Okay, we'll come meet us out later on you. tonight, okay? Total. Perfect. Yeah, and judge you. Oh, baby. She is and good. Judging. She is so submissive. She's good enough to <sighs> kidnap. What is she? So I can, I can confirm <laughs> that a, a good marriage and sex She's lasts a, a long time and it does keep you young. I'm serious. It's actually people that are alone that end up dying sooner. Oh, this lonely. Is true. Oh, yeah. Is this terrible. the best episode you guys have ever had? I think this is a <laughs> terrific it's episode. Awesome. It's, a it would be. Yeah. it's a banger for it's sure. It's a banger. Because yeah. yeah. if I don't see two million f- fucking views, it's their fault. <laughs> it is their fault. Oh, That's exactly wow. right. Go, go tell your friends. Come watch. Okay, so hey, let's uh, let's do let's do super chats. Okay. Uh, Glenn, you want to you want to give it to us? What for whatever we have? And do you have um, do you have Mike's supers as well? Yeah, I got Mike's supers okay. as well. Uh, George, do you know why my audio, my uh, headphones are out? All right, we're going to start with okay. Mike Supers first. Okay. Hey, Tristan, can you ch- shut that door because you're on camera? Yeah, shut There's the 25,000 people like watching the, You look like the GHB salesman, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got... bottles at the club. So we got a question uh, for Zerka. Zerka is making the red pill in clown show. 
just like Sneeko, Destiny, and the whole White Claw Power Hour. Uh, I let's just ask: Does anyone in the chat believe that guy wouldn't trade lives with me? Who? The guy who just gave him shit. The guy who just said, "Oh, got it, got it." Yeah. Does yeah, anyone yeah. on earth believe he wouldn't trade lives with me? I mean, does anyone I in this do, table I believe? I do agree that Destiny is making a clown show out of the red pill. But well, he's not. He's not. Destiny is. Uh, what's he saying? I know. He Destiny's wrong about everything. He's do, blue pill. Do you think? Uh, do you think men can be bisexual or are they just homosexual? Uh, traumatized. Traumatized. That's trauma. Uh, so you don't think like a guy that sucks so dick is gay? So you think women are traumatized? Well, no. If you look at the studies that are actually written by people who study in Harvard, but they're illegal. <clears throat> I don't want to hurt your podcast, but they're illegal to look at. It's always from trauma. It's always some molestation that led them that way. And this isn't just a Christian position. I had this position as an agnostic for years. When I, I mean, this data exists, but I don't want to do that to your podcast. Sorry. No, it's fine. The, the, so I've heard that I, I know about the studies you're talking about. And the, the only issue is the counter to that Behavioral. study. And I don't have, I'm not trying to uh, have a position one way or the other, is that when you look at, there's a book called Dataclism where they go over uh, searches on websites for gay searches, and it's the same in every state, which means it's normally distributed. So if it's a function of molestation or it's a function of abuse, then you would see more in poor Clusters. areas. So Clusters. you'd see more homosexuals Definitely. in Mississippi and fewer in richer areas, and you don't see that. You see right. the same number of homosexuals in Highland Park, Texas, as you do in ja well, that's Jackson, be, Mississippi. That's, that's because you, you don't understand um, the trauma could be micro could be very small. Right, but you would see a distribution. What I'm saying is you wouldn't see the same distribution of homosexuality across the country. You would see some places That's with too more much than of a I mean, right? yeah. If you look at it from a sin, that looks pretty Have accurate. you ever Burger. experienced microtrauma? Absolutely. Okay. Mm. Are you bisexual then? For example, there's, there's two types of men. Let's say, wait, wait, wait. Are name? you bisexual though? No, no. What okay, well, God, no. Well, you have to. 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 No, no. I'll say there's, let's say, two types of men. <laughs> I'll use you for an example. What's sure. your name? Adam. Adam Zerka. Zerka falls off the playground, let's say. He gets up. Boom, bisexual. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be Adam. Let's check this out. He, uh, there, there, it, it, studies show that some people just interpret some scary event to a lesser degree than others, and those others actually become liberals. Being liberal, being liberal is a temperament. Uh, share your wife. You and do all realize this there's many Republican Zerka. gay people, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And there's the many is, Republican Christian people, but rem and many Republican. I hate Catholic Republicans people. and Democrats alike. Thank God. Because oh God. when you ask what is a conservative. What the fuck are they conserving? LGBT no, Republicans? I just mean, like, liberal, That's not a conservative. Like, the only movement is one that you hate, right? That's the last. Well, I should have said right conservative. Hey, John, fix your headphones. Try them all now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I figured out what it is. Glenn, Glenn, I just want to make it religious. Glenn, a white Glenn, cord Glenn, went through there and turned the balls up. Give us that follow up. Yeah, yeah. Zerga, the question is though, man, yeah. if, if a guy sucks a dick, is he gay? Absolutely. Whoa. So are you telling me that Destiny's gay? Absolutely. So Destiny's a gay, blue-headed dick sucker. I mean, I'm about to, oh, uh, can we say F slurs here? Hey, so let's not do that. Uh, real, no. real quick. So, Because the original <laughs> talk was about whether or not Destiny was right or wrong, so let's leave his sexual <laughs> proclivities out of it. Gay! Where, well, he has admit that he's bi. <laughs> right. So, so, he's my friend. Right. But the thing with Destiny, where we disagreed with him before, is that he believed that the alpha qualities didn't exist. That basically all you have to do is be around women in order to sleep with Try more women. Try harder. Yeah. And literally, the two of you and he himself are proof that that's not the case. Destiny literally met a woman on his stream, and then that is now his wife. But he didn't meet, like, he had a ton of followers. Like, literally, his well, wealth and charisma are the reason why he got a woman. For whatever reason, those alpha qualities could be mo money, muscles, but, game, frame. And but uh, Destiny's also known for going into internet wars and doxing, and yeah. people doxing. He would be in that woman's market, sexual market. Yeah. He would be the most alpha of all the nerds she was Exactly, talking. That's exactly yeah. what I mean. So, so he doesn't means, get it. So the, that means the, alpha qualities yeah. do exist. Mm -hmm. And so what I said before and where we had a disagreement, and he was like, no, I won the debate. And I was like, I don't think you did because, one, first off, he completely discounted the, the statistic about 20% of the top I watched this on Fresh Fit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys won. Yeah, the top 20% of right swipes, or the top 83% of right swipes go to the top 20% of men. And he sort of waved his hand. And I'm like, no, dude, that yeah. is significant because that data is anonymous and that data is verifiable. Whereas the other ones is self-reporting. That one is not. And none of his data not. even overlapped. You guys, it looked like a family fucking tree. I was like, that presentation you guys had, but I hated the way you executed it. What do you mean? Because if you were more rude, 
Because when you <laughs> when you have the truth, when you when yeah. you have the truth and you're charitable, yeah. a lot of retards think that's, you guys lost. Well, that and, and it hurts but, my movement. But that, right. It's also it's also reflective of the people who are in the chat. They just and, want blood. But that's no, no, all they, Rolo, all they want to see is Rolo, you punch them in the face. Rolo, if I brought I four overlapping studies and he brought one fruity study, yeah. I'm going to humiliate him because I did more work. I'm sweating from the brow, like Jesus said. So I'm going to say, Destiny, you're a fucking retard. You have no other study. But because you guys didn't do that with the attention deficit market we have in social media, there's gray zone area people right. who actually take his advice. And that advice kind of leads you to suicide, bro. It's well, fucking and, and by the way, it's not just it's not just destiny. It's also like that's a condition of the of the whole state of like social media right now is you have to you have to like punch people in the face. They want blood. Yeah. They want blood sports. Dude, it's want. really unfortunate because like, again, what we do, we we on this show, we bring up more statistics than any other show. Yeah. And we're not going to grow as fast as other people because I don't want but the thing is, I want to have a, a, a disagreement about with anything we're talking about, yeah. but I want to do it with empirical data first, and then your opinion can be whatever but, it is on based on that. Yeah. Go ahead. But what you're saying is you're building a higher Lego tower, but getting the same reward as Destiny. There's no point. So, so, so What's I'll the point I'll, of staying up why, and I'll getting the studies? I'll tell you why. Because we did 600000 uh, in revenue last month. That's the reason why. My Credibility. Company, yeah, my company grows. Well, you'd, you'd have done 700000 if you humiliated See, I, I don't. I don't, I don't think so, because because one of the things that's happened is there is a middle path. They don't. The middle path does not do as well. Middle. I'm still center right. Exactly. The middle path does not do as well on YouTube, but it does very well in coaching. And so that's the reason why I'm choosing the middle path. Oh, you're you, saying it would affect your bottom line yes, if correct. you went my style. Correct. That's what I'm oh. saying. And you even said oh, this before. You're, you're not as like performative. Yeah. Well, well, let, let, let me see if I can give you a quick example here. Hold that thought. When we started this podcast, we were like, okay, we're not going to try to be like fresh and fit. We're going to do this format that we've been doing. Our point is not to Frank Castle anyone off. In fact, the only Frank Castle we've ever had on this show has been when Myron was here and knocked uh, Toy Hardy off of here. Uh, oh, That's wow. the only time we've ever Mike done Rashid's that. Ex- and, there's, yeah. and, there, and by oh. the way, and so like... Like women will get like very agitated on this. If, if women want to walk off, this, that's that's on no, no, them. But, uh, but it's not our point. It's not our purpose to go and kick people off Rolo, of here I, because we want to have no, no, Rolo, Rolo, have I, that exchange I, I, rather than have it be a blood sport. I've I've had a podcast. I've never kicked one girl off for yeah. a year. Oh, I, I don't yeah, believe in I that. Agree. But I find it weird how you'll stay up, do the work, mm-hmm. get the four overlapping studies. Mm-hmm. He won't do shit. He's he's fucking some bitch. He's not doing shit. And then you guys don't hammer in the point to the autistic people watching that actually get persuaded by his mm. smooth little snake oil salesman. Let, let me ask you this. What would you have us do? What would you say? Okay. I would here, say, you go, here you go. Why not? Fuck with. Ro- Is that Ro- what you want us to say? No, no, no. Here you go. No, no, it doesn't have to, be, I mean, it doesn't have to yeah. be mean. Uh-huh. You just press him on the fact that he's bullshitting. You guys let him get away a lot. Mm. Myron does this too. Let's Destiny get away with murder. That means he's lying. He's live and he's lying. You know, Destiny can talk someone into cutting their dick off. Like, a, hey, go be trans, it's fine. And here's how he'll do it. And it's so sneaky. Zerka, have you, are you circumcised? <laughs> immediately, if I say yes, immediately, I start giving grounds in the debate and I start losing. But it is a sneaky tactic because you look at that community, yeah. they have a high suicide rate in their community. So I don't know, when we deal with the blue pill guys, we, our side is so kind to them. Even me, I was kind to Stephen for a year. We're yeah. friends, but if we debate, so let me, him, let me, let me, I'll give you one more him. example of this because when we had Richard Reeves on this show, people said, "Oh, you guys went soft on him," or we, "You guys go soft on the girls." You need to punch him in the face. Richard Reeves, the Doctor Richard Reeves, he's from this Brookings Institute. We had a, he wrote a I book think. on he basically how yeah. Title Nine has he was made on Doctor so Phil with me. yeah Title Nine has made it to where over sixty percent of college graduates are now women, and so we've gone so far in the other direction that we have a, a group of men who are unemployable and unlikable by women. Okay, yeah, yep. and so so everybody said you guys went too soft on him. You should have punched him in the face, right? My my uh, my logic in in this thinking is that we can have him back on and have another conversation later on. Oh, so was that it we rude? Keep it going. No, 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 we, no, we specifically no. We, aren't rude. Yeah, we were specifically was he trying rude to have. To you guys? He was terrific. No, oh. he was the, terrific. Audience, no, the audience awesome. wanted the audience blood. Same thing. The audience when, wanted same blood. thing when I did Jedi Diabila's show back about this time last year. I went on her show and she when we had this confrontation going on. I, they said, "Oh, Rolly, you were soft on her. You should have punched her what? in the face." <laughs> and guess what happened? By December of that same year, she's like thanking me because now she's on board with Andrew Tate. She wants to get Myron on. She oh, wants you to have converted me on. her. She converted oh, okay. her. So let me let me explain. But I'm talking about that's... conniving people. See, you're yeah. not converting yeah. like Stephen. And you're never and... going to change. There's certain people who you're never going to change their minds about jack shit. I don't go on those. I didn't debate Destiny because I thought I was going to convert him or change his fucking mind. I did it for the p- benefit of the people who are in the chat who are listening to this right, who but might not have heard. Like, like, but, we, but Rolo, you're assuming before. the people in the chat have a shred of intelligence. 
Yeah. They don't. Well, remember, one day they like this influencer. Those people pay your bills, like, so I suggest you show a little. Everyone who pays my respect. bills okay. is a thousand IQ let me, IQ let, points let lower me, than me, 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 and they some, agree. Let me give you some numbers here. The people who are in the chat right now are a small fraction of the people who are actually yeah, watching yeah. video right now. Like, how, so the thing is, because I know you're getting how many views did that get? You're, you're getting, you're getting, you're opening a coaching program. He's got a coaching program. Thirty-five thousand. They're the ones who matter. They're the, they're the ones who matter, right? The, the ones that when you're doing a coaching program, they're the only ones that matter. To me, my only my guys, they get on the on the on the life preserver with me. They get on the rescue boat with me. The rest of them, they go down with the Titanic. I don't really care. You're not going to save them. You come and join the Marine Corps with. Why I'm traumatized is I spent a year arguing with. I spent. I spent a year arguing with Steve. You? <laughs> I, I spent a year arguing with Steven, and I'm not insecure, so I let him have a lot of the arguments that I thought were stupid. I could have easily called it out. Yeah. But damn, over a year, that built up a fan, a fan base, a section, an ISIS of his fan base that literally went after me thinking I'm retarded on all my takes. And I'm like, if I rehashed those debates, I would have won all of them. But when I see nice guys in the Red Pill community, I go, you know he's lowering your guard on purpose. He's, that's yeah. a snaky move, what he's doing. And he's my friend, but when he debates, we're, we're not. Oh, no, I, we're not, I, I we're learned, charitable, bro. Our side is so charitable. I learned that lesson when I was, also, I've, been, I've been getting, I got into, I, I will get into Twitter threads with him where I have, like, I think I'm having like this genuine de debate. The with vasectomy him. one? Well, that wasn't even yeah. that. It was like, it was some other topic. And so I'm going through this one one thread and suddenly I go and I see there's three other like sub tweets of this and go, yeah. oh, what a fag. This guy doesn't yeah. know what he's talking about. This guy, you know. Oh, you, and he, so he does, he, see, he basically like kind of subcontracts oh, out of if, the main thread so they can do these to make himself look better. If you capture anyone online like this and that and that, it, and that right there is just it's just in general why even bro, bro, this is why i kind of feel bad i'm like if you capture any blue side like destiny mm -hmm. and you snipe him do you know he'll respond with a meme and it's oh, a yeah. great it, shield on the uh -huh. internet because that's how stupid people watching are memes are shields so that's why i press it and ask it again and again mm -hmm. another thing earlier he said all american women aren't whores and stuff if we're 20 times hornier than women how the fuck did they close the gap on cheating they're closing it right now. Wouldn't you admit that the biggest horse to ever exist is 2023? Who are the people that charge money for Not sex? an answer. <laughs> not an answer. He knows what I mean. I mean. That's a fact. That's not an answer. <laughs> you really I mean, thought I was talking about prostitutes? So you're talking about the... I mean, you're you know talking what about, I'm saying? You're, talking about you're the, on my level. Yeah, you, you caught that. You're talking about the connotative definition of the word whore. He would like, have to like I'm a whore to what works. And then you're talking about a whore, a woman who's a slut. slut. Let's yeah, say slut. A slut. Okay. That probably means... I assume he knows what I'm saying. though, is like more open than it's ever been. Oh, no. See, the thing is men are having less sex and women are having more. That's sure. That's a difference. Okay, Mike, you're 100% good faith with me. Everyone in this room, if they agreed that the studies show women are closing the gap on cheating for the first time in 2023. It's about 20% of men and 13% of women, yes. If they're closing the gap, well, and we're 20 times. <laughs> it's about, about 17 times on average. More. We're 17 yeah. times yeah. hornier and they close the gap. And he won't admit that the one time in history where you live in slut society is right now. You guys would have to. Admit. Uh, I, I think you Adam, have to. I think admit. I think Adam might admit if you said women are more lascivious now than they were in the 1850s. The answer he would agree with. Yeah. yeah. That so doesn't I, mean all dude, women are poor. Who very, here thinks I'm closing the gap? The, they're closing the. But that's that's not honest. Okay, so that's because uh, you're talking. So when when you're talking about like whore, she's a whore, she's a prostitute. Slut. Let's say okay, slut. Well, so so what, what, what you're talking about in this case is she's having sex for money. That's when I see, when I hear prostitute. Yeah, absolutely. Whore I, I, okay, I'm let's say slut. So slut, slut, so slut, slut. Are, okay, let me ask you this: Are women who are on OnlyFans are they whores? Absolutely. Are they prostitutes? No, no, no. They're not prostitutes. Sluts. We're saying sluts. Sluts. Okay. But what if they don't? But what if they don't have? I need a synonym for slut. What if they don't have sex with men on their OnlyFans? Are they still? Would you still call them a slut? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm, the, the girl I'm dating immediately, she's like, "Do you want me to deactivate? Because I have all of her passwords within yeah. the first two days. Do you want me oh to deactivate?" She said, "Oh my god, she's horrible." <laughs> Even when I was a player, I'd have like nine girls. I have all their passwords, and I used to actually hire someone to. I didn't want to look at that shit, so I'd outsource the work. But and they remember these women have a smile on their face. You're thinking they're chained in a dungeon. They're very happy. The yeah. Anyways. Brainwash. But They're yeah, brainwash girls. No, that's what I do. I manipulate. You I, mean I, I girls. Admit that. Yeah. Right? I'm known girls, for not women. Yes. Like little girls. Women love manipulators. That's why you go for no, little girls. Girl 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 you know why? Manipulate 19 year old girls. Yes. No, no, that's no, why no, why no, you like no, no. Look at the lies. Look at the li liberal fake news here. The first. I'm not a liberal. The Don't first just say time liberal I dated fake news. Like that's just a scapegoat. The first time in my life I dated a woman this young was. Last month, when I was 21, I didn't like them. 1918. When I was 25, didn't like them. Agreed. Didn't like, it was cringe. But 29, when they did a hit piece on me, 
They're, oh, that girl looks too young to be around him. I wanted that media source. I wanted vengeance. So I started dating her. And then she's kind of stuck around. But she's like, do you want me to deactivate my account and stuff? I said, no, because this is not going anywhere. I've got a fucking mission. I'm not getting married anytime soon. You can keep your OnlyFans. I, I turned it off for a few weeks, but I, whatever. But, and it was like just lingerie. It wasn't anything. Glenn, go yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got I, Super Chats, too. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. I got a question for the ladies, though, real quick. Do you agree with Zerka that if you're on OnlyFans, you're a whore? No. Prostitute. No. Prostitute. Let's go prostitute. Not prostitute. Whatever. No, you're an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, okay. <laughs> I, think, I, think when you're, I, think, I think when you're a whore, you're a whore. And when you're a slut, you're a slut. And if you're posting well, pictures of bikinis on OnlyFans, then you're just posting bikinis. Well, let's, let's ask, yeah. let's ask me. A uh, big agency hit me up. Uh -huh. They said, Zirka, we know that you're... you're it wouldn't even be, if I made an OnlyFans, I come so fast, it would be clips, not videos. Yeah. It'd be short, <laughs> right? But now, Three minute video. And Reels. I have a medium sized dick and I'm huge. It doesn't make sense, right? Right? You can't have it all, right? Right? God is fair. But check this out. If, if this agency, this agency said, because of how. Uh, this agency said, because of all the girls you know and how much they love you, you would make the most on OnlyFans if you open it up and they showed me the numbers. And you know it's mouth drooling, mouth watering number yeah, for me. A, but check this out. Be a virtual check this pet. out. If me, the greediest guy on the internet, turned that fucking figure down, how the fuck are these girls who barely crack a million, you know, giving in for a million? So if I didn't crack and I'm the cokehead, how the fuck are they snapping and just going to the money? I can easily say. I'll tell you exactly. I can why. easily call them sluts because I didn't you. crack. Survival. I'll tell you exactly why. For exactly the same reason you were just saying a minute ago is because look, these women on the the video I just showed you, they think that the average guy makes a whole lot more money than <laughs> he does. And so, like for instance, when you're saying here, one of the things that you were saying is, I make my own money. I have all you know. I I have because what if he leaves me? What if he what if he dies? What if he like fucks the secretary and he leaves me? That kind of stuff. He's that, that, is the, secretary, that is the yeah. number. That is the number. That is the number one way that women justify getting like, oh, I want to get my bag, I'm going to do all this stuff, because they, the average woman today, average, like average women don't want to get with average men, but also women fear that they use that fear of the insecurity to, to justify, oh, I got to go get my, my, uh, my money, I got to get my business on point, I got to be an entrepreneur, I got to get my education on point, because I have to take care of myself because I can't trust these, these scumbags because right. men are untrustworthy. Mm -hmm. They're either abusers, they're incompetent, or they're Homer Simpson. Right there, <laughs> or that planet. And so, and so if that's if that's your mental impression of masculinity, of course you're going to do no, that. Of course you're going to want to make sure you have your own. That is not my right. mental impression mm -hmm. of masculinity. I mm -hmm. never said that. No, no, I I'm not saying it. I'm not saying you oh, are, but I'm just saying like the reason why women come to that position is because because for the last like four or five decades, we have taught women collectively that men are untrustworthy, and you can't trust them for long term security. So you have yeah. to do it yourself. Yeah, which is a huge turnoff to the guy because he sees yeah. you as some man. If you take anything away from this podcast, it's what you said. Masculinity, tattoo this to your fucking psyche chat. Masculinity <laughs> is action. Now, if masculinity is action and she's out there working and has businesses, that's action and it's a fucking turnoff. That's a turnoff? Huge. That's no, a I turn love, off. I so love she active should, women. She oh, should oh, be oh, under yeah. your up, wing. And you, you, you're the one who's in control of her yeah, life. What if you like, like, got in a terrible accident and you could not work and provide for her? Like, God forbid, something. What if she did got in a terrible accident? Well, what I'm saying what is, fuck? in that situation, so she's just supposed to sit around and yes, and re remember, and if she's it out. you're forgetting, if she's a beautiful, clingy girl. She's not thinking, oh, he's going to ditch me. No, no, no. She right. got it wrapped but around her. the finger. No, no, no. What she I'm won talking the game. about leaving right. me, I'm saying, what if? A, a circumstance in life caused you to not be able to provide for your woman. Uh, no human I have an announcement. Like I have an announcement. Yep. Uh, Ali's poker game got canceled, so she's coming oh, back. Nice. Go ahead yeah. and sit back down. Right. What a cute right. excuse. Yes, what yes. a lie. Uh, she just wants to be here. All right. All right. All right. Back to Super Chat. <laughs> I gotta uh, we got Mike I gotta with make the 40, money. Oh, go, go ahead. We got Mike with a $49 Super Chat. Yeah. Um, didn't say anything. Um, no, really? Damn. Yeah. Damn. So uh, we got Emilio. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Anyway. Uh, hey, can, can we have Ali ball, and John ball, move? Ball, you ball, guys, ball. move to your left a little further. You know, Thank you. You. And then move so, towards Morgan. Thank you. You guys are so polite. My biggest donation was uh, twenty thousand dollars, and the first thing I said is, "You broke. Fuck that. All you got." And it was another twenty. But then I didn't have the conch. I could hear my dad if he saw that clip. He'd kill me. Muslim parents, right? So I, I stopped at forty. But you guys are so polite to your audience. It's like great to see. 
Like, I, right, I'm we got, so rude uh, to them. Got, go for it. We got Milio with four uh, four ninety nine super chat. Thank you, Rollo, for bringing some order. Uh, Milio again, insecure man. I do my best. Who hurt you, sweethearts? These are the things that don't work in this room. I don't know what they're okay. saying. Yeah. Uh, they, 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 they the girl, to... the girl saying who hurt you. Oh, and God. And the yeah. this, this oh, I, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. Pronouns are hard to understand. Yeah. And, and then um, my pronouns are he, he, the superior gender. Let's go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh Kristen says, hey, Zerka. Hello. Why was I banned for saying Christ is Lord? Oh they're good. They don't respect Christ. Because you're a woman. You're not She's allowed not in there. If it's Discord and you're, we don't have women in the Discord. But you can just go to my Twitter. Have fun there. At the fun. Uh, WTF World uh, six ninety nine super chat says Zerka, where could I book a consultation? No way. I'm booked up and it's all rejected up to eighteen hundred an hour. And I hate doing them <laughs> at Zook they, in about an hour. <laughs> they, they, they literally. It was five hundred a few weeks ago, but they literally every one of them. And I'm like, I'm about to become a scammer. They stop trying to get value out of me and try and be my friend. I'm like, you got one fucking hour and tell me your fucking life problem right now. What is your problem with your woman? But they try and be friend. So I'm like, if you're not cutthroat, call me an F-slur and get it started going. A Zerk, a slur I need this. If you're not like that, I feel like such a scammer yeah, I and I'm losing yeah. my mind. Yeah. And so I actually put them in a training program to learn how to talk like me. So you get one hour, you record it, you take notes of what I said and you get genuine value. And I'm going to be honest, it's such a waste of time. I'd rather be doing other things. Bro, you should switch your pricing to 3K for 15 minutes based on what you said. I, I, this is what I do is I grow companies 100%. If you're overwhelmed at 1,800 for an hour, 3K, 15 minutes, but, churn them through. But, but my team said, my, team's, my, team's, <laughs> my team said, you're done. You're not doing consultations. We want, they want the book, website. They want intellectual but, but, property. They want all the, this Dude, you stuff. have to do everything, but you want to do 15-minute consultations because they don't have enough time. To but it's before. depressing, bro. Every guy, I, yes. I, look at them, I look at them, I'm like, you mean you're an adult and you haven't figured out bro, a way it, it to is, win it is in money, women. Wait, wait, you're wait. a loser in bro. every fucking area. When I was a bodybuilder, at least I had muscle. When I was a drug dealer, at least I had status. They want uh, you to be their wait, friend. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I got to jump in on this. You yeah. attract your clients based on the audience you're attracting. No, that's, no, that's, retar that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. No, 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 this Both, is all three of bro. our clients, bro. you look at the average man. What is the bro. average man? Is it a winner? No, dude, let me be. Is the average man a winner? The average man. I work with incredibly successful people on purpose. Purpose. I've is... been teaching dating for 18 years. How are you not embarrassed to say this? You, you're saying high value men are hitting you up. Absolutely, yes. it's a fact. Yeah. Give me a break, dude, dude. My, my clients are lawyers, are businessmen. Yeah. Are just that's, awkward. That's, you can still be a just lawyer. You, game, you can still be a loser and a lawyer. Dude, you can losers. still be. A... These are incredibly if, successful. If they're successful, why are they coming rate. to you for dating? Because they can't fucking get pussy. They're losers. No, because that's the truth. They've got success in every other area in their life except pussy. So they're losers, dude. Our our marketing says how to attract higher quality women not how to attract women Zerk, i'm going to tell not you something here in a minute go ahead give me a break yeah, burp, burp. I, I don't, I don't, so, I don't. Dude, look look, so look. Let, me, let me explain something to you the reason why you guys have a conflict here is because you're right and you're right okay oh, here's, here, here's why because i've asked this question on fresh and fit i could i could ask it right now because i know you're on only fans like women who are on only fans probably know this why is it that guys get so addicted to fucking only fans they can go jerk off on porn anytime they want to. It's not about jerking off. Personal. It's about it's about yeah. human connections. Connect yes. It's about that's it. and that's what that's they're all Zerka, the that's the what they're looking for from you. They want you, your your dominant personality. They yeah. go, well, no, I want Zerka to be my yes. fucking friend. Yeah, you that's have a what demographic. Yeah. You have a demographic that works for you. Yeah. It doesn't right, work for me. everybody. No, no. I'm, I'm saying, look, I'm gonna be honest. For us three, let's say, because I know you guys. I've watched you guys. I can talk about you guys. Okay. Right. It's not like to exclude anyone, but. Us three, we could go to the bar with 99, 95, 99% of men on earth, and us three will literally say, us three will get up and say, hey, us three can make millions of dollars, 99% of people on earth, we'd, we'd see them as cattle. They're so fucking stupid. I'm a bouncer, and I beat every professor, engineer in debates. How? Is that cocaine that good? It's, they, they just stop trying. Even after, you, some people get a master's degree and forget what they learned because it's been so long. It's like forgetting how to kick with a black belt. Mm -hmm. We're active, we're men. He wants to say, yeah, his community has got geniuses and whatever. We know the average guy is fucking pathetic. I'm a Christian, so I have to say my yes means yes, my no means no. The average guy is pathetic. And when I get this message across, they come out the gates running with questions that change their lives. <laughs> but if I'm soft, I swear we start talking about stuff we have in common. Dude, right, I want to be clear. It's crazy. No, it's because you're targeting the average man is my point. 
I don't oh target the average man. Okay, okay if so a lawyer has money but no pussy, is he a loser? No, who no. has no pussy? He has, he has pussy. Why are you a he loser because you don't get laid? Like, oh my god. So, so, if he, so he's getting pussy, but he's getting coaching from you. Absolutely. Hey, do you we guys just, think he, this makes sense? Or yeah, he wants to get multiple mean? women, or he wants to date somebody that he's got more in common with. He wants this a different kind. I've never. So, so is is it Drake? The reason why. Drake? The reason why I say you're both right is Dude. because I, I've experienced what like the high end guys who are like they're in high high end jobs they're not getting tail or they're not getting the or they're in a marriage and they're like and like I, want, I can't get my wife. I want to add something again. and I'm not going to name yeah. the name because it'd be unfair. On Saturday, this coming Saturday, I've got a guy who's paid twenty thousand dollars to come and meet with me. You would all know his name. He has millions of followers on yeah, I got a hundred of those guys in my DMs, but saying that out loud helps nobody because we're trying to we're trying to help it helps most his people. Bank nobody account. cares I about your zero point zero point zero one percent. I'm trying Drake, to help you. The I'm anecdote of you. Drake. If, if it was Drake, like your even if it was Drake, even if it was Drake, you'd be mad at advice. <laughs> it's like well, it's not. if you don't like your own customers, you've got to change. No, no, no. Things. I don't like ninety nine percent of men. Hey, but because check this out. Because 90, no, 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 no. Chat. You said the people in the chat are all assholes. Get one of your followers on a call with me. <laughs> I, How about I, that? I, I you want to see humiliation ritual? I wouldn't do that to you. Uh, no. That's enough. Can, 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 that's crazy can, talk. Can, 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 check this out. There's no break. this conversation is not how we're going to get through it. You're not going to steamroll your way through Hold on for one minute. Listen. Let him finish. What I'm saying is, as someone who makes a lot more money in this industry, who has done this for a lot longer, I love my clients because we bless have, you. we literally have That's a amazing. system. This is a salesman. Even I love my friends. clients. I, I, I am absolutely a salesman. For you me. love all just like 1,000 of them? So, Sweetie, with your client people, we're going to work with. 350, you love them equally. No, oh, <laughs> no, over the last joke. 18 years, we've worked with 350,000 people. You love all of them? We, Do you heart all of them? No, I like the ones that I have worked like with. Like or love? So, can I find a middle ground here? So I don't, I don't, I don't have three hundred fifty thousand. I have, I have about six hundred clients. Okay, and in my six hundred clients, I construct them. Kind of like what you're saying, except it's not hate, it's discipline. And at the end, I'm like, you will wake the fuck up yes. and you will go to the yes. fucking, you go to the yes. fucking gym. Yes. Uh, you, did, you paid me too much goddamn money for me to sit yes. here and fucking yes. lie to you. Right. So I yes. say that to them because I do care about them. And when I do right. that, I'm I'm way more invested. The other thing is I give them a book list. I give them a workout schedule. That's I give right. them all these things at the end. So they don't want to call me back next week because they know they're going to get their ass chewed out if they didn't do the five things I gave them. I and give them what homework. do you yes. do when you are doing your Zoom calls? You make them put their fucking face on yeah, the make them and, face on and, camera. He, makes, and yes. he actively filters for guys who are like cluster B kind of guys yeah. who are yep. just kind of like you know they, they're on the spectrum somewhere and it's not like like I've done the same thing where it's, uh, I have guys and I put this in my policies if you're going to do a one on one with me and I don't have that many clients I only take a handful because I'm a writer I'm not a counselor I'll analyze your situation I have a Patreon where I have like a group chat once in a while we got 10 guys that's it but the reason why I do that is because the guys who come in to my 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 uh, you know groups or my one on one is I'm not going to sit there and listen to your whole fucking life story. Yeah. I want to know what your problem is yeah. so I can analyze. I'm not a therapist. That's I'm not a psychologist. That's setting a boundary though. You know how I'm to set a boundary and if, with your And client. if you have autism, if you are Asperger's syndrome, if what if you were, I'm, I reserve the right to say you need clinical help. Yep. Yeah. I, I, this is above my pay grade. I will tell you that automatically. I've, 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 I've declined. Yeah. <laughs> I've declined clients because they're like, uh, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like, dude, you need to go talk to a, a counselor who does totally. this for a yeah, living. Absolutely. Don't and by the way, don't talk to anybody else in the manosphere. Mm -hmm. Go find a real psychological professional totally. who can help you. And the best part is if you show us that genuine interest that you, you this circle, I need this mm -hmm. from any three of us or whatever. If you show that, I swear to God, you guys are on board here. We stay much longer on the call yeah. for free. Right. Yeah. So show us you're a man and get active. Mm -hmm. Agree. Because that passive so, shit is sleep. So no, let me, let me ask. It. Let me ask. Well, and, and, and to the women as well here, because when we are talking about the average guy, I was just saying about like how, well, how they all want to get into OnlyFans. I'm, I've got this from OnlyFans girls. They will say, "How come guys are so they'll spend small fortunes on OnlyFans, but?" They can just jerk off on porn for free, right? And so I say, well, it's that human connection. Absolutely. The same thing is what you're dealing with, what you're dealing with, what we're both dealing with as well, because guys don't know how to interact and don't have the social skills to act with other guys. So if I hang out with you just here in the hallway, I can go and f I go, I can fuck with this guy. I know I can rib him or whatever. As soon as I met him, we're throwing footballs around and fucking around because we both know how to interact as men. That doesn't mean that the 
99% of guys don't know how to do that. No, no, and that's no. also the frustration that most women aren't probably you uh, at this table have with guys right now because they don't have the social skills not only to 100%. deal with women, but 100%. also with guys. So yeah. you're dealing with guys who are high level dudes who are millionaires. They don't have social skills. You're dealing with guys but who are I, like who are like just, you know, spurgy but, idiots. No, if they don't have the trinity, you. like if yeah. I stay with you guys, uh, looks, network, status, mm -hmm. immediately you can never, I, a tragedy could happen to you. Someone could cheat on you. I don't give a fuck. You will never be a loser Correct. in my eyes. Yeah. Mm. You know how little people, especially rich people, lack two of those. I think it's like, it's every millionaire I meet, they only filled up the money. It's pathetic. And to get proud that I have four women I'm texting. You're fucking, you have a yacht. It should be 400, you idiot. But that's why he goes to them. But, and the whole saying, point. But, 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 yes. but that's a loser in our eyes. No, no, He's saying they're not a loser. Maybe no, in your that's eyes, a bigger loser. Not, you have a yacht and only four John, women. John, that's I, the John, biggest I want to be clear. Loser. You're missing something. I'm saying you're not selecting your clients well enough. This isn't a reflection. I don't select them. Wrong. That's the point. You don't. Yes. We do. You should learn the I skill. I decline people okay. all the time. This is the point I'm saying. You should learn to target better. No, no, but check this out. Check this out. Yeah, exactly. But do you disagree if a dude got a yacht? And his bitches are coming to my house every night to do some little YouTube vlog. Not even that many views. Do you agree that guy's a fucking loser? So again, here's the political. Let's no, go political. Hold on, hold on, wait, time, time out, time out, time out. Go, 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 go. It's a yes or no. It's a yes or no. You Getting women to yes, make you a winner. If the man is Bingo. letting his girlfriend or wife go over to your house. All right, hold on. Yeah, we go, have a problem. Go, 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 go. I'm sorry, sir. Like, okay, I, I think it's great that you say that you're a Christian, but like, you make Amen. it you make it actually look like it's a freaking show for you, and like you're saying here that you're a Christian and this, but you know what? You're when you're saying that these men are losers, you're supposed to be they the are. guy that they you're can count on. Contradicting your own beliefs you. when you speak. It says to love thy neighbor. You shaming them and 100%. calling them names is not you loving thy neighbor. I swear, that I is you. <laughs> Sitting here judging them, and the Bible even says, but I "Do was not them. judge." But yet you're oh, judging. You call them none. No, I'm not saying you stand them. It's you over. don't want to deal with them. You, the are <laughs> no, you are contradicting your exact stature of what you are you saying <laughs> that you are. <laughs> with, with you are saying okay. you're a Christian, <laughs> but you are contradicting <laughs> yourself you. with your words. It yes. is not what is said; it is what is perceived in your perception of yourself. Remember, action. You are false. Is what it looks like. I believe that you're a Christian, but you're not living your it's like biblically. you're inside and you're fast not forward. living. So you fast forward. You are not fast forward. Let's go. See, the only reason why you're saying that fast is because forward, you know that I'm we're actually we're right not. and you don't like That's the fact that, that I am challenging you. Know about you. Yourself is that is why. Down. That's okay. it. That is why. Coco, I'm out. Coco, we got it. Coco, go ahead. I swear it was his question. Wasn't it a yes or no for him? I don't know. Where no, she came fine. from? It's like, call, call, it, I it's, came it's, from because I was called on, actually. Yeah. So, so the the issue was she had a the way you live as a Christian is the thing that she was questioning because okay, she but, takes Christianity very seriously. Right. So. But the difference from me and every other Christian YouTuber, pastor, and stuff, they uh -huh. can't show a thousand four hundred converted people in one week. So I don't give a fuck about what she said. She converted no one. So waste my time. I'm a woman. The I'm not supposed to her. speak to men and correct men. That's a well, man's job. I speak the to the women. You didn't I speak the to women and correct women. You're a Christian that never spread the gospel. Converting someone and living your life as How a you, Christian is two different oh things. You're going to say that I've never <laughs> spread can the gospel. Can I be, please? I'm going to explode. You're going to say that I've never spread the gospel. You don't know my life. You don't know what I have done. All right, so let's do I don't want to be rude. Finish. Okay. So... So we're going to let him pee. I'm going to ask another question to the ladies. Then we're going to go back. I don't want to do super chats unless okay. he's back here. I have all my super chats uh, screenshotted. So let's okay. let's go over that real quick. Okay. I have, I have all my super chats screenshotted. So we'll go over that in a little bit. Um, yeah, there we go. This is uh, this is better than he's I could have go imagined. Cry in the bathroom and the now. thing the thing that I want to know is, Ali Cat, what do you think about all this so far? Because I barely heard from you. I feel very unsafe. Why? <laughs> really? Yes. I'm Why? Tell, explain. Go, go on. Go on. I'm just, I'm very triggered. Really? Yeah, I feel very unsafe. Why is that? Because of him. His whole aura is very yeah, predatorial. He's, he's, he's not speaking anything. Men that are listening right and now, I, feel bad I hope to here. God, I pray to God, this man over here knows what he's talking about. Right. That's Thank why you. he attracts such high quality well, This clients. man came with two women. The other man came with zero women. I don't see it. Like, again, he's low. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't like, care. He, he, he's hitting on this one yeah, while he has exactly. a girlfriend, but he has traditional so beliefs, right? right? He doesn't believe in this and this and that. It's just all contradictory nonsense because he's so high off so many fucking things. I I'm sorry. I want. I feel sorry for him. Well, and that's another thing is that he, he, 
whatever he's on, TRT or testosterone, he wants to combat anybody's belief that isn't his own. Let me ask you something. If you guys had a podcast, would you have him on your podcast? Absolutely. I I will have him. I'm interested to have him on my podcast. If he came to Austin, would you have him on your podcast? I've been seeing it contemplating this. And here's here's why. And and this is like a really good point. We're really big on targeting. And the reason we've worked with 350,000 clients over the years is because we learned we don't want to work with most people. I feel like he could use your class, actually. Well, well, and we've now, to be honest. We've now reduced I won't it. take him as a client. We, <laughs> we've now reduced it down. We're now very specific about how we work. We, ha- we actually have a 17-question system they have to answer, and our system scores them on how likely they are to buy from us and how likely we are to like working with them. Our questions range from uh, data, but also like psychological questions. Uh, we ask stupid questions like, um, does grammar, like bad grammar annoy you? And we know things based on that, that actually answer, matter. Like, w- well, it lets us know whether we're going to work. There's work reasons with them or not. why things like Match.com and things like this use all this data. It's scientifically proven right. over years of time of compatibility between two people. You're not just looking to get laid. You're looking to find someone for a lasting it, relationship. Exactly. And so, and so to answer the question, um, I've been saying, I think, do we want him on our show? The reality is, will he p- pull views? Yes. Yeah, However, he will also pull the wrong audience that we mm-hmm. don't want to work with. The, then I started thinking, well, it would be really fun to watch him get completely destroyed by my group because when my clients, because we bring our clients into the room to sit in a live audience. Mm. And when those guys are there, to watch him call them a loser to their face. That's what I'm saying. He has no respect guys, for the people. I'm sorry. I want to yeah. watch. So I, don't, I just want to watch. I don't it care. Would be interesting to see <laughs> I mean, that I, told, I told my girlfriend this morning I don't have opinions anymore. I have podcast segments. That's all I have. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm good for anymore. I, I like I, to, to be honest with you, so this is the way I look at it, and I do apologize. I'm sorry that you feel that way. I, I really do. I don't, I didn't, mm. It was not my intention. Uh, but the thing for me is I, I am a proponent of free speech. And so for, for me, you know, I didn't go. Okay. Listen, if I went and spent seven years and seven days fighting, you know, uh, the, the, the Taliban, I'm going to sit here and I'm gonna, going to allow other people to express themselves totally. as much as they can. Yeah, you know as they, what saying? Should. they and, should. And, and I, the, other thing is, the other thing is John has a gift. And his gift is that when he talks, a lot of people listen. Like it, it's, it's been pretty meteoric the way he's grown. We have some disagreements about yeah, certain things. It's like a things train wreck. You can't that, look that, away. That I, that yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like there are a few albatrosses around your neck that are going to keep you because we we were talking about this yeah. other. I think you have a potential and there's a level to your potential you're not going to get past because there's certain things that you talk about and you've talked about this before you know I, you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something I've never done live I don't think I've done this offline or okay. live but I'm going to apologize to her mm. because one your husband is one of the best people I've met I immediately clicked Christian ally but number two when you rewatch this podcast you will see, this is the first time in history, before I even knew it was her husband, I said, are you finished so I can go to the bathroom? Because I don't want to be rude. The reason I said that was not only is she a Christian, but she was doing great the whole show until they started double teaming me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Because I was talking to him. But I am sorry. No, I for what? I what are you table, sorry for? Like, I'm sorry. Oh, I got no, it that no. spicy. With these and, girls, I'll go at it all day, not you. And I uh, wasn't. I we wasn't, Christians it. stay together. Oh <laughs> sure. I'm fucking, go ahead, Coco. I was not trying. I was. I, I. I'm sorry. Your attention was there. I was not double teaming on you. I had made. I was trying to make a comment on something else, just based on what you were saying. And then Rolo had tagged me in saying, "Go ahead, Coco." So I was not trying to be rude. I was waiting for my cue. And yes, I have. I tried to be quiet and be composure. So I apologize to everybody that you have I, to apologize. No, I'm the tornado. I should apologize. No, 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 no,
Yes. That's me. That will, that will, that's about me. <laughs> and then Adam with the W. <laughs> Hell yeah. Don Juan. Winner. Adam with the W. Wipe her up. And then um, Bebe says, uh, bottom Z stop asking questions when in, then interrupting. That's yeah. me. I'm bottom Z. Yeah, then. Uh, hey, that's, that's better than talking. What does Zerka <laughs> think about Reburn? Reburn? Reburn. Hey guys, one more time. Oh, it's okay. called Grammarly.com. Yes. Grammarly.com. Yes. You are paying yes. us money yes. every week. It's like this, and I don't understand. It doesn't matter if you don't speak English. If English you is your second and language. Paste. You can go to Grammarly.com and you can get these things done properly. Go ahead. And then um, Don Juan says, uh, if she's not digging for gold, she's a landscaper. Nah. Cool. Uh, What's that last one okay. on mine? On last one on yours. W women pick the winners. There you go. Uh, women pick one. the winners. How can you be a winner if a woman says you're not a winner? You're not a winner. No job description generates arousal. I think that uh, points to you with the whole lawyers and being a baller. I think well, it goes back to I don't your know. Saying. I don't Who's know if I could agree with that. No, no, no. They're agreeing with like, you. I don't want that one to agree. <laughs> I don't want that one. All right. So, you got mine? That, 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 I read through yours. Okay, so let, let me know. I, I have mine. Here we go. Okay, Don Juan, uh, he says, so it's true Adam Lyons is here. Uh, all right, our red pillars, y'all can stop reading the wrong books and get in with Mike and Adam. Zerka is here. Uh, Derek uh, Wilmer, 499, Google the Zerka official. Uh, Tara, 2,000 yen. I don't know what this, this symbol is. I disagree about playing games uh, like going hiking to be tired. Yeah. The goal is to, is genuine desire. I don't need mm -hmm. to compensate. Have great sex. Amen. We'll solve retention the, issue. No need for that hike. I disagree. The point, the point I'm making is yeah. many men go to the gym before a fucking date, and it helps them talk slower. Let When you have that surging energy, she's picking up on you faster than talker. I mean, talking faster. Whoa. Please don't be turned off. But yo, when you're talking faster, you're scaring her on the date. Like if I'm on, when I'm on the date with her, it's gonna be back here, like leaning back, very calm. It's not gonna be debating like making a million dollars, right? You know what I mean? Right? Hey y'all. Right. Uh, Derek Wilmer also says Zerka needs a course. He says you you need a no, course. No, no, no. I have something coming out, and it's called Date IQ, and really. It, it's like Sigmund Freud, but Beautiful. me explaining You know it. Sigmund Freud was a, like a super cocaine addict, right? I know. Yeah, that, 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 there we go. <laughs> Who do you think inspired <laughs> me to read? Listen, I there get we go. it. Frankify it's also. Awesome. Frankify, I'm Work not making this up. He also said Zerka needs a course. The next one, the Alpha Widow. Destiny publicly supported CP. He needs to bounce. I don't know what that yeah. is. Oh, that's child mm -hmm. P. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, no, don't even, yeah. uh, don't even go. Eric Tumbold asked Zerka if he agrees with Justin Waller about being in shape is the most important aspect of money. Fuck no. Fuck no. That is. Is not, really? That is the. Are you kidding me? Keep going. So what's the you most really, important? Let him cook. Then why hey, do you do so many steroids? I, I, no, I don't. You should see <laughs> when why? I. Do, you should see when I do steroids what I look like. But they, literally, let's just go off DJ Khaled. Okay. Is he in <laughs> the man who doesn't eat pussy. Is, 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 DJ Khaled. I've never, I've never, yeah. ate, I've never oh. ate pussy once in my life. I'm sure you have. I've it. kissed it. That doesn't get tired like at all. It. Well, that explains but, oh, it. That explains the women. No, okay. no pussy look like a battlefield. But yo, check this out. That Waller guy is that the redhead? Yeah. Okay. That, <laughs> bro, I've never been afraid of a battlefield. You know, yeah, okay, that's a good one. A that's bloody one. Uh, eating pussy is just submissive. Let's call a spade a spade. Oh. But check this out. And you know, think about it. it. Tastes great. Think you about must it. be so lonely. No, but think so about it. When she, you. I mean, how can you argue this? When <sighs> she sucks dick, it's her nature to be submissive. A dude eating pussy, it's not your nature. You no, gotta fuck the chair no, out of no, no, but no, that no, 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 It is the not her nature. How is beating DJ Khaled? Isn't DJ Khaled with a wife getting more women? DJ Khaled does not have a six pack, but the Waller guy does, right? I don't know. Waller's getting a lot of girls. Like DJ Khaled. Mm, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like Rick Ross, like the high status. I agree. Justin it's gets a lot of Justin Justin gets a lot of girls. I'll say this. When I was a shredded dream. bodybuilder, uh -huh. I got much less than with a gut as a streamer with status. I think, status is insane. I, I agree, agree with you. No, I totally agree with you. Agree yeah. but, but, but that's but, anecdotal. But in, order, that's but, in, but in order for you to get that status to work every day, I think being in shape. Maybe not the six-pack abs, but how about like having... Like I've you seen can be a before. runner. But when you get fat, I do think it messes with your neurology. I've, I've seen people gain a oh, bunch of weight. I, I, and I didn't they, say and fat. They, and, they, say and, they fat. Start, and they start becoming crazy when they get... When they get uh, overweight, so that that's one of the things that I've seen. So I think maybe when he's saying about his fitness, what he means is like being oh, physically fit nor from the, your neurology, he, you're able to perform. Sorry, sorry. He 100 percent wins the debate. Waller, yeah. am yeah. I saying it right? Yeah. yeah. Waller 100 percent beats me in the debate if we're talking about getting pussy, but if we're talking about sustaining it, she lives in the chick wants a nest. She lives in your house. DJ Khaled has a wife and 40 bitches. I seriously doubt Waller has that. 
Now, You'd if be you're wrong. talking, he has a wife. You'd be he has wrong a, about he has a wife. Have a wife. Not, not okay, so he lost wife. already completely. One hundred percent lost. He one hundred percent lost. But DJ Khaled is a fat ass, really. So if you're telling me looks is most important, well, that's anecdotal. That we looks, can go being through. Being in shape. Being in shape. Yeah. Being in shape. You get a million hookups. A million hookups means you become beta because they don't stay with you. You need to sustain the bitches. Every bitch I ever fucked, it was 10 times it wasn't once. Because I knew if I'm getting blocked after fucking a beautiful girl, am I really walking up to the next one with confidence? That's a retard science. Uh, we got one here. He's a little critical here. It's from Scholar T. He says, Zerka, you're cool, but huh. you're not Tate. Tate gives a lot better advice than you. Tate Anyways, goes Jesus under a chair. And, yeah. Tate goes, he made his millions. Can uh -huh. I attack Tate or is this your boy? You do whatever Rock you want. And roll. Right? Let's go. He made his first million. And just so you know, I'm not joking. This dude made his first million spending eight hours a day under a table texting to men as they're ejaculating because the woman couldn't do it. And you want to compare him to my legacy? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is this, is this the Cope Olympics? I want, you're telling me I have to respect an OnlyFans manager. I think I'd rather respect the fucking army dude, the Air Force dude, the Navy SEAL. And you know what's crazy? He had the fighting skills to be a real man. And he chose to play with fucking whores. And this guy really wants to compare my leg, everything I went through to an OnlyFans pimp? Get the fuck out of here, bro. You're done. All right. Uh, any other super chats? There you have it. Um, I got some on mine. Yeah. You got uh, a 999 super chat. Zerka, thank you for bringing Christ to the mainstream. Uh, my little bro lost his ability to walk recently. Please say something like, go Xander. Christ is king so I can show him <laughs> all the love. Bro. Let's go Xander. Go Xander and never stop. It never fucking ends. We're with Christ eternally. Well, whether you want to accept him or, or not... Oh, everyone accepts him on Judgment Day. And remember, as a five-year-old, you have a sense of injustice. Oh, he got two Skittles. She got three. There is a divi divine Judgment Day. It's not Buddhists where you just infinitely regress and like, I get reincarnated, reincarnated. There, we all know right and wrong. Well, we don't know it, but we definitely feel it. That means Judgment Day is coming. And I'm the worst, most vile sinner here. If I can make it. I think we can agree on that. Everyone can make it. And remember, without Christ, what, what, what the fuck? What, what, else? what else is there? The first book ever made has been here for thousands of years. Every book we write. Every They're going to save that for our debate. Every, every, for our every debate. Book, save that for Monday. Every, we got that one going. Every other book, every other book we write, Jordan Peterson, anyone who writes a book will be dust in the wind in a couple of years. That book ain't going nowhere. That's the only book that matters. Does Bible support Amen. cocaine use? Well, mm -hmm. it definitely, <laughs> oh, it definitely doesn't say you can't do it. I'm like curious about marriage. it. I'm, you know, well, you, you're the Bible expert. Remember, remember, it's very, it's very low IQ to say you sin because we're all sin. I didn't say that. No, yeah, I, yeah, the yeah, point, yeah. The question. I the point of, the question is genuinely. I don't know. Sure, I know, but it, it's a stupid question because remember, oh. every, who here sins? Oh, but I, the I point is to be saved from the sin and be washed in the blood of Christ. That's the point. Nobody here is going to stop so sinning. So you can just act as shitty as possible and no, Christ is going to forgive no, you? Is no, that what you're saying? You, there has to be action. Is Zerka a better person than when he used to put knives to people's throats as a drug dealer? Okay, Am I a better person? I don't know. I'm, so. I'm a cutie pie now. I'm like teddy bear. So th this Christianity really softened me up. I needed it, or else I would have been in jail. So you were harder than this before. I was, dis I was disgusting. I was, I was a disgusting degenerate. Now I'm a degenerate to like the average Joe, but compared to my past, oh my God, this saved my life. Keep going. You don't, you don't have to stop yet. You're not yet. there yet. No, no, you guys, are, you guys are right. We'll stay on dating statistics. That's better than the Bible. All right, we got one more. It says, part of my language. But what the gosh darn heck are y'all doing? The Zerka motive is here. Zerka Climb motive. aboard or that? get the heck over. What did he say? Motive? Zerka yeah. motive. Like a Zerka motive. Like a locomotive. locomotive? Yeah. The Zerka motive. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, 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 no. I don't like him. Cute. I don't like him. We disowned that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for Super Chats. George, put me on. I'll get you. I got the next video here. Ready? Well, here we go. Oops, wait a minute. The thing is that <laughs> men lie to women because they want sex. So men normally don't tell the truth to women. 
you're hearing it from me because I'm not trying to smash you. That's why I'm so truthful with you, ladies. Mm -hmm. And it seems like maybe I'm disrespectful huh? or maybe I'm mean or rude. But I'm not mean or rude. I'm just not trying to have sex with you. That's a fact. But if I wanted to be clapping cheeks, this podcast would be very fugazi. Because <laughs> I'll be like, yeah. oh, what? Yeah. do like a woman's money. We love your income. We love your income. Well, nobody we love ever said independent that. boss women. Mm -hmm. nope. Derek Jenks' entire message Jackson. was all based off selling females word salad. It's just yeah. like mm -hmm. Justin LaBoy. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot of things that feel good. It, it feels good. It feels good. It feels yeah. good. What I'm giving you doesn't feel good. The things that it's true normally doesn't feel good. Trust me. If we was trying to smash, it will all be like a Derek Jinx or a Justin LeBoy. We'll be like, yeah, yeah, true. That's we'll be fact. talking about sex a whole lot. We'll be talking about like, oh, what's your favorite position? The reason why I didn't ask your favorite position, because I do not care about your favorite position. Shout out to No Fugazi. Uh, they're going to be coming on in August. They're coming over here to uh, Las Vegas. And we're going to have them on, yeah. on the show. Just throwing that one out there. So, the reason I put that one up there is because we kind of have had this conversation right now. So one of the things that when we talk, start talking about like uh, statistics, when we get kind of lost in the weeds here every now and then, we'll, we'll talk about like uh, evolutionary psychology yeah. from like David Buss. And it's like all women's like eyes glaze over because it doesn't, he was just saying, it doesn't taste good. Do you, do you okay, as, as far as like the entertainment value, as far as the emotional response and stuff like that, I see like a lot of the same thing going on here. Do you guys... Ladies, do you kind of bristle at the fact that, like, I'm clearly you're bristling at the fact of what what he's saying right now? Is it because it's true, or is it because it just doesn't feel good to you right now? Oh, um, it's so funny. I, I know, you know, like some women get, you know, affected here. For me, it's entertaining. Like, if someone called me pink elephant, I'm gonna get offended because I'm not a pink elephant. I know that, right? Mm. So for me, everything that's I'm like not triggered at all. Actually, I find it like hilarious. I like being here. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> you know, so for me, it's just more entertainment. It's difference of opinions, and I think nothing is triggering. And you know, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I get in a lot of trouble whenever I'm I'm throwing out like stats and like. When I go on Fresh and Fit, for example, mm -hmm. if I'm on this show, if I'm on a, we're going to be on a whatever podcast, actually, uh, on July 5th, or July, July 25th, 25th. Yeah, we'll, whatever be, we'll be back on whatever again. Um, but when, I, when we go on there, the, I think one of the things that, what, I guess maybe it's the conflict anyways, is that I think there's this idea that we're supposed to settle something, resolve something, and feel good about it at the end of it. And sometimes that's not the conversation. Sometimes it's just like, you know what, nobody ever told me that. I feel bad about it, or it didn't taste right, or I feel uncomfortable about it, or whatever else. But the thing is, is like, did you learn something? And so I think that's really what, because when I approach a, a podcast, when I pro approach when I'm making an appearance, even when I was on Dr. Phil, it was just like, I'm trying to throw out there this information and they're trying to do entertainment. And so it's always this conflict between like what feels good and what is educational and what is going to help you. Like maybe you're going to use this as tools later on in life. So. I appreciate the truth. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, Same, yeah. I can separate myself. I'm a very emotional person, but mm -hmm. I can put myself in a logical state of mind and sympathize, as we were talking about last episode, with the male psyche. Sure. And I can take the truth. In fact, I prefer the truth because I'm so, in, I hate saying this in a way, but I'm so intelligent. I know when you're bullshitting me. So I'd rather you just cut to the chase and tell me what's what so we can get down to business. You know what I'm saying? Mm, Versus yeah. I don't need you to sugarcoat shit. I don't need you to finesse me. I don't need you to do any of that. Mm. You know what's wrong. You know what's right. I don't have to fucking tell you. So I'd mm. rather you just shoot it straight personally. Exactly. Yeah. Shall we talk about Adam Twenty Two now? Yes, we should. Should we? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, so go you go, you I'm gonna, let me let me. I'm going to be. I, I I don't believe this, but I'm going to play devil's advocate, and then that way you guys can. Can I do that too? Yeah. Go ahead. Because uh, I met him, I want to be nicer. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So the thing with the thing with Adam, <laughs> so number one, give us I want to get back story. on his podcast. Yeah. So, so, I, so, I have. I have give a us the back. All right. So here we go. So I'm I'm going to play devil's advocate, and I'm also going to. I have I have a video for this, but go. Cool. I'm going to provide a little bit of exposition for those of you don't understand what's going on. No podcasting, incredibly successful podcast. No jumper. Is, no jump, I'm sorry, No Jumper. Uh, Adam22 is the a host of No Jumper. He has several other uh, subsidiary podcasts. He and his wife, uh, Lena the Plug, uh, they also have a... They also have a, uh, a side podcast they do called Plug Talk where they the two of them have sex with guests on the podcast on a regular basis. They just talk to them, they interview them, and then they just start fucking them. It's one of the craziest yeah, things. Yeah, it's I remember saying crazy. you can watch it on Twitter. It's, it's fucking nuts. <laughs> anyway, so what happened was it was, closed on, it was closed on her end and it was open on his end. And they had been with hundreds of women together. Adam finally went on his podcast and said, I am allowing my uh, wife, Lena the Plug. I don't, are they That's actually seven, seven years. Uh, seven years. They have two kids together? No, one. They have one kid together. And they're going... 
and so he's she is going to now have sex for the first time on camera with another performer. Or she's yeah. already have. Yeah, well, she's black. Just, by she, the way. She, she just yeah, she just did it for the first time. And then uh, what happened was the entire world came crashing down on him because it wasn't a polyamorous relationship. It was closed on her end. And then he allowed it to be open on his end. And then we saw the thing with Johnny Sins, a very similar situation yeah. where Kissa Sins, it was closed on her end and then it was open on her end and then she left him. And so there's a, a bunch of stuff going on. The way Adam 22 is handling this, I can't imagine, like, I would have not have done what he did, but the way he's handling it, it could not be better. He is going to make millions off this. So I'm just going to play devil's advocate. I think from his standpoint, from a podcast or a content creator, now he is on the public mind. Like Joe Rogan is talking about this. Everyone is, I'm, I guarantee you, Elon Musk probably didn't know who Adam 22 is and knows, now. he knows who he is now. <laughs> so there's two ways to look yeah. at this. Number one, how much was it worth for you? For your wife to have sex with a well-endowed African American man, how much was that worth to you? Number one, and number two, in the end, what you know was the you know you have to you have to equate what was that price, and then how much is he going to get for him for it? And the other thing you have to ask yourself is you've been with hundreds of women with your uh, wife together, and so does it mean as much because you've been, had so much sex outside the relationship? Because he does porn. So what do you think? Anybody want to? I jump have. Here? I have a theory. Oh. Hey. Go ahead. Keep talking. Shoot. Forget. No, it was, okay. Yeah, so my theory up. is, I mean, this is this is very different in our lifestyle for porn and porn actresses. But honestly, he's rich. He gets women. He's had all these women. Um, he doesn't necessarily need the money. I think he's into the whole humiliation thing. I mean, there is a... There's a market for that. I, I don't want to necessarily... He's not necessarily <coughs> a full cuck. <laughs> but okay. he's up there. He's up there for sure. He's mm. getting off on this. So is and he's on a loving. <laughs> is being a cuck on a spectrum now? Yeah. Again, I play devil's advocate. Now it's time for you guys to come on. Ready? So I oh, there, okay, <laughs> plot twist time. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> can I can I can I add some more to the story now that we've sure. got this? Okay. The other thing is that he was all okay, so three days after he he so he I was there on Monday of last week. And so on their podcast, I yes. was on. No, I didn't go on with okay, with, I with Adam, sure, but, like Adam, you. but Adam was on with Destiny during that time, and he was ha ironically enough. That's Nico. Have it, yeah, and Sneeko was there as well, and MLD was there too. But but no, Sneeko and Adam high five. Yeah, I right. I know. Well, so, <laughs> they got but, so much in common. Now. But uh, yeah, exactly. Well, so does so does he and De so and also does and he, Destiny and Destiny. Three high ironically high enough, Destiny was on that show when he was talking about how he felt insecure. He's, I don't right. know if I've, I was feeling. Right. I thought I because he he was a former porn star as well, right? Adam twenty two. Well, he's. He's still a porn star. Still is. Yeah, okay, he's so currently, still current. But so he was having problems with like allowing Lena to go and have sex on on camera, and so now suddenly he's feeling this jealousy, as we were talking about before. And so when I'm when I'm talking about when guys feel that that in, they we say, oh, I'm insecure in your masculinity. No, no, you're feeling very secure in your masculinity right. because that's what's supposed to happen when you when that happens, right? So all this is going on. They're having this conversation with Destiny, oddly, you know, almost ironic, karmically enough. Um, and then uh, about two days later, three days later, he talked. We find we come to find out that from the I don't know who the male actor was, but he was Jason he was saying, Lovely. Yeah, he was saying that Adam was the one that was shooting the video and was right there and had did this whole this confessional thing, saying I don't know why he has a problem because he was the one there shooting the video in the first place. And he's talking on his podcast that he wasn't there, he wasn't. Wait, the so he, he was there or he wasn't there? What was the truth? I we don't, don't know. know. They're trolling. He was there, and then he was hard broke. So, hold on. So, wait. He was Schrodinger's Adam. He was Schrodinger's penis. Why would he, like why would he jeopardize <laughs> his brand, his network of his audience to that? He's rich. He has the woman. He has every f porn star in the industry mm -hmm. and OnlyFans creator. He's no, kind of he into this. Would you have gone on Plug Talk? I would ah, uh, I, like I met him. I met him yeah. at the party. I was there he with was you. a fucking asshole. He was? Domo, yeah, Domo he was is a our, Domo, fucking shit. asshole. Domo is our I like best Lena. insider for this kind I of I like Lena, and you know why? Mm. I I respect her because I've been that woman, and I, she's gone through so many women with just him, just him. Of course, she's she's already a mom. She's a great mom. So 
If she wants to get some other dick, then yeah, fuck yeah. She deserves okay. it. But it's a black dick. Does not matter. It's a person. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. You okay. can't say things and like that. Also, We're canceled. I do not stand behind that. That is a terrible, terrible thing to say. Honestly, she's a porn star, and you have to understand that your body as a woman, you can open up, you can take a lot of dick, and okay. you can go right back. Hold wow. that thought. Sorry. George, give me the, give me, put my, put me up How much time are you going to do? Hold on. Stop. Stop the tape. Here we go. On that note, this is perfect segue. Hey, John. This is, this is my um, girlfriend, Kylie. It wasn't hard Hello. to come back to your... I was in a lot of pain for a few days. Mm. So oh, shit, having sex was, you know... It was reupholstered. You were, you were a little traumatized by me being like, ouch. Hold on. <laughs> oh, shit. At first, yeah. But that did go away pretty quickly. It took like three or four days, yeah. Yeah. Um, you feel like it snapped back? Well, you never had the natural birth that you I, were planning I, on. I don't believe that... Uh, stretches from having once for 40 minutes with a bigger I mean oh, well, there you and, go okay now and look at this go. too he's having her on the show talking about it his goddess his woman is humiliating him and he's loving every minute of it and he's gonna benefit off of every minute of it okay ready for the final okay. 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 final that? final plot twist <laughs> they're gonna shoot again and he's going to run a train on her. He, he said. He said there was going to be two, two, two men. Two men in the room. Strikes okay. back. This was <laughs> just. This was just an hour ago on Instagram. Just say. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I watched it. Adam's, uh, Adam's going to be those guys who double uh, penetration. He's going to off himself if he keeps going this way. So I'm did uh, did uh, Destiny make being a cuck a flex? Yeah. Well, that's my next question, actually. No, it, he, why is this popular? Well, why is this a big deal right now? It's really mainstream. I mean. Yeah, cooking is really I've, popular. I've, it's, not, uh, it's very popular. I did a scene. It's pathetic. I did a scene. I have a great fan base from it. Um, it's a very small niche. A lot of men, they have this perverted... Those aren't men. Uh, whatever. They could no be, male lions could sharing. Be species, but no they male have, lions sharing. They have this perverted mind Whether that it's has from lingered trauma. in there. It could be it's from trauma. trauma. It is trauma. It's trauma. You but back it's trauma. Addis, nonetheless. Hey, I'm traumatized too. Trauma. I don't let my girl get fucked. Matter of fact, when I meet a girl at the bar, I'm there's many who have outed me. I say, look at your shoes. You're not talking to any other men or I'm walking. Which you think she's going to leave me? I get jealous in the first hour of meeting her, let alone my wife. That is a satanic ritual. That is who here would do that? Uh, yeah. That's crazy. And the guys you said those cucks who pay for the, your stuff, how would they look sitting next to me? You think they look like men? Give me a break. They don't give a out, shit. Out. They don't they're care actually, what they They're actually very secure in themselves that they would. They See you, Ali. We want to hear from you. Yeah. What do you mean by this? Ali, you, you're in a you're you're poly, right? That's what you were saying. Yes. What would do you think you, about this? Would you say there's like a difference between poly and like cuckolding? Uh, I mean, uh, what's the question? Poly and cuckolding. Have yeah. you ever been in a poly situation where everyone's in the same room and there is like cuckolding? Then they enjoy it on, on purpose. Or are we just all sharing? Like, what's going on here? I mean, I've done like orgies. Yeah. Is that? Do you have any opinion? Like, what with what Adam and his situation? Adam twenty two. I don't know. You don't know. I'm not paying attention. See, okay. my my um my my take on this is that you're only going to be cuckled is if you have an exclusive relationship that's already there too. Yeah, well, so that's that the you right. Can be I doing mean, it. people have fantasies, so, of course. So there would yes. have to. So there would. That's why I'm asking you because, like, if you're if it's open on your end and open on his end, it's not cuckolding, right? Because right. it's like you guys can go let watch your, watch each other, let your freak flag fly. But that's this is where I think we're kind of going when we're talking about how men don't understand how to relate with other men or relate with other women. When you have, uh, there's there's four ways of looking at this. There's one is open on his end, closed on her end. That's the Andrew Tate thing. It was like, oh, it's open on my end, but all these bitches have to be on my on my team. They're on my harem. They don't they'll go have sex with anybody else. And they can't else be on your payroll. They can't legally fuck you over. If they, you can't okay. work with those women. So You're that's fucking four so women. that's, you can't so that's one that's one format. Then there's like my wife and I. Okay, so closed on her end, closed on my end, closed on your end, closed on. That's Beautiful. The that's, that's the, the tri best one right so there. That's a real man. Traditional Let's go. traditional mo monogamy. Okay. Then there is uh, open on as we were just saying, open on their end, open on your end, open on her end. That's and polyamory. That's, and that's the destiny model. 
apparently. The cuck. If, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm just so those are two different it. things. So there's so. polyamory, and then in his situation, like he knows right. about it or sees it, then I think mm-hmm. that would be a cuck. And then there if you is, don't see it. I don't know if that. And then there is cuck. this right. is the most common right now. There is open on her end and closed on his end. Ooh. And the reason yeah, I say that is the too. reason why I say that is because and it's the most that's popular right now. Polyandry. Because what happens is <laughs> when guys get into a a quote unquote a monogamous relationship, if that woman is still on OnlyFans, if she is still on uh, Instagram, if she's still advertising herself sexually on this sexual marketplace, it is her still participating in the sexual marketplace. But if that guy were to flirt with the waitress at the at the bar or whatever, that would be seen as cheating because mm-hmm. there's this presumption that there's closed on her end, closed on his end, but she still has not deleted her like willingly or you know, voluntarily deleted her OnlyFans, deleted her Instagram, deleted any of that. So to like to limit the idea that she's still sexually available on the open marketplace. That's what's going on. That's what happens with like, for instance, like Steph Curry and Aisha Curry, right? She still wants to be right. on the marketplace. We showed on this show not too long ago, we had uh, the, the soccer players, right? Was it Messi and uh, Ronaldo? And I forget who the other guy was. You look at their Instagram, on the, the player's Instagram. And remember, these are high caliber, like these are the guys that m- other men want to be, make a lot of money, <laughs> women want right. to bang these guys. They're there with their, their model quality wives and girlfriends, and they're on vacation on this beach somewhere, Aruba, I don't know, wherever. You look at theirs and it's them too on the, on, the, uh, on the thing. You look at their girlfriends and you look at their wives on their Instagram, same beach, same, like right there, and all they're doing is showing themselves like lounging in the sand, like present, like in a bikini presenting themselves as if they are still sexually available, especially when everybody on planet Earth knows that they're fucking the, the soccer players. Mm. So what I'm saying is that, so it's closed on his end, but it's still open on hers because she can advertise herself as being sexually Interesting. available. But, but I love that you said that's the most desirable man on Earth with paycheck, with status, with looks, Ronaldo. Yeah. Cristiano, what, yeah, and uh, Cristiano oh, Ronaldo, not Ronaldo. And, and yeah. Messi too. And Cristiano Messi Ronaldo, too. yeah. Messi. All women on earth need to know. This is a billionaire, by the way. All women on earth need to hear this. He picked up a minimum wage bitch, the McDonald's worker at the Gucci store. That's <laughs> who he fucking married. At the Gucci so store. when women say, I make so much money, what you're really saying is all those Ronaldo types don't want you. Don't leave Starbucks for OnlyFans. Get my Frappuccino, and you'll get a Ronaldo. Uh, let me say something real quick. So there's some guys, like, literally uh, spurging out right now, saying that we need to read Blaze Super Chat. Guys, I got news for you. Uh, there's no Super Chat here. So I've read every single Super who Chat is there Blaze? is. We don't Where know who Blaze is. is. Yeah, cut so, the fuck out. So whoever, whoever's on here, we didn't get a Blaze Super Chat. So you've obviously made some kind of error. We're going to have the mods, you know, stop, like, uh, put you all on timeout. So here's what you need to do. Or I'll do it who, myself. Whoever this, none, whoever this dude Blaze is who needs to masturbate on my fucking chat, <laughs> you need to start over. Do a $1 Super Chat. I'll fucking read whatever you want but this is like you guys are, are getting a little bit ridiculous here cool sounds good awesome so show me you can take action show me that you're not a bitch and that you can actually some, take some action got it cool uh do we have any uh you, you have, blaze blaze you huh? just set him on fire who's Bla- blaze I don't blaze know. is on fire he's in a blaze right now you attack them. oh i'm not he's trying to attack I'm not, I'm not trying to attack blaze i'm just blaze, saying, like, come back to us yeah like bro, like, bro you, did, you, did, you didn't actually yeah. send a super chat yeah. so like yeah. so you can press enter here's blaze. that attention you wanted yeah, yeah. there you go bro. there we go free airtime. We got four more super chats for Rolo. Okay, Rolo, uh, do it. Uh, we got Zerka. Are you going to join Yay Twenty Four campaign or <laughs> Sneeko still cucking around after you blessed him? Ooh. I, I, I don't want to leak anything, but uh, I'm in the talks for some big. There stuff. we go. And I don't. Wanna, I'm not going to do that. Do you see a, a message on mine from someone named Blaze? Negative. Okay, so whoever is to say this thing from Blaze, you're just lying. Is it on? Is it on the? Is it, <laughs> have a nice day, dude. Oh, like, is, is it on the main? George, George, George might have one. Is it on? Have is it on? George, you have one, George? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. Yeah, I think I found it. All right, Blaze might be on the main. Fifty dollars super chat here. Zerka, girl to your left was talking mad shit about you while you were gone. And I don't care about women's was, opinions. I don't oh care. Oh my Thanks god. Scared, Blaze is a bitch. Blaze is a bitch. Time out. Time out. Time out. One more time. George, read it again. He just read a fifty dollars super chat. I'm not going to sit here and let these fucking dudes disrespect my okay. chat. Go ahead. Here we go. And uh, and the girl sitting adjacent to you was saying she was scared, felt unsafe while you were there. LOL. How about scared. you guys tell them what you said when, while he was gone? Bunch of snakes. Oh. That was the chat. 
Oh, it's literally I mean, live on air, face. my you darling. You can literally yeah. rewatch this. Yeah. You can rewatch yeah. the video. I'm so sorry <laughs> that you want to like gossip with Scrub your little knitting circle, yeah. with your fucking dick in your hands, Blaze, yeah, crying about cry getting shout outs. Blaze, Blaze, go tell on um, me some more. So she said that she was uncomfortable, and Which I said that you should take his class when you were in the bathroom. Good, done. Anyway, who are you? Was she here the whole time? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, moving on. She just sat down. We, we told we got a, we got a We got a 999 super chat. Call the police. <laughs> Dillinger said, also, educate these females. Yayo boosts the IQ. Christ is king. Yayo. Yeah, oh, no. That's cocaine. Okay. Um, and then, uh, Cock 22 versus Sonic Boxing Match 2023. Winner takes Leah. Lena. Lena the and flood. And then, um, nah. W for Zerk. <laughs> All right, so... Meep, meep, meep. By the way, guys, <laughs> I feel super safe. I'm so going to come back again and again. I, I, I will say I this, it. though. Go ahead, go like, ahead. genuinely, like, I don't think I would ever feel proud if I made any woman feel unsafe in the same room I was in. That is the gayest shit I've ever heard. So you're you trying to... You're you trying to... This is a white knight. Uh, save her, white knight, and she's still horny for me. You'll never win. <laughs> this white knight will <laughs> the Wait, why did you... Why did you bother apologizing to her? I didn't apologize. You You said, I'm sorry. You literally said, I'm sorry. Play the fucking tape back. You, you, you literally so said, no, no, no. you're so fucking uh, high, are you, you don't remember. <laughs> I apologize to her. her. I yes. I didn't even see her. You're disgusting. Why is degrading her? Because I apologize why can't to her. you just take ownership for once and just say, oh my God, wasn't my intention to make you feel it, no, it was my intention. Would you understand good. that um, so it's I had a whole line of stuff to talk protector? about, but go no, no, ahead. No, no, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Adam, Adam, uh, Adam, lines, go ahead and say what you're yeah. saying. Would you agree that one of the key components of a male to be attractive and masculine is a protector? Yes. Are you acting like a protector when women around you feel unsafe? These are not women. <clears throat> I mean, These women are attacking me. I don't want to date them. So because the a woman fuck? attacks they you, all of a sudden she's not a woman, so the world revolves around you. I so want to be around my women. They want to hate you. I'm sorry. I don't want these women. 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 I don't want if this is what you want, is only going to make this go viral, okay? I'm just letting you know. So if you want to keep doing this, that's fine, because he is very comfortable being the Iron Sheet. No, but... It's not, wait, it's wait, not. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, I can make it informative. Yeah. Um, hold on, hold on. Do you act the same around the woman you do want to impress versus just some woman you don't Oh, yeah, really I act the same 100% everywhere oh, I go. 100%. Well, he's real. But he's one not of them you pick up her number image. and the other one you ignore her. You hear what I'm saying? But no, you're picking up This women. is the one I ignore because I have my own women. That's not how I try I'm not trying to make her feel safe. You're I'm trying to go viral. Based Let's go. upon games and manipulation, not on actual game and respect and something and you know that a crazy? woman can look up to. I was nice to her. She's like, oh, I feel unsafe. You didn't butter her. You're so butter her. You can't just accept and say, I'm sorry. Feel that way. Move I on. You're still going God. on it. She's living rent free in your head I right now. I'm not trying to look cool. I swear to God, when she said I feel unsafe, <laughs> you I, didn't I didn't fire. care. You didn't say didn't why. You didn't give a Did fuck. Did I yell at her? No, you just I, don't I was, care. I was surprised. All you I just said don't was, care. Has she been sitting here the whole time? That's all I asked. Clearly. Maybe it's the cocaine, but I thought she just sat down. Was it someone else? Why? No. I think Maybe I'm high. But that's, you're, you're not so that memorable. You're so self-involved. You well, don't think, even know who's yeah. around you. That's so think, the problem. No, I remember you this one. She got nice eyes. <laughs> but I think that, that's, that's, a, that's a key point. If you can't notice people that are in the room, how are you going to be an effective protector? You've got no idea who's in the room. You're not paying attention to what's going on around you. How are you going to teach game when you don't know who's in the Where's room? My wife? How do you wait, wait, wait. teach game when there's no one wife? in the room? Wait, wait, wait. Who am I protecting? Where is, where is your girlfriend? Yeah, where's where's my girlfriend? Am I protecting her right now? No, that's the whole point. But a protector is someone who protects all the no, time. No, you're actually disrespecting her talking about how she so sucks your fucking dick every night looking up to you. Agreed. You said a moment ago you felt attacked. Now you don't feel threatened, which is true. I genuinely was making a joke. If you rewatch it, I go, ladies, you're hurting my feelings. It's a joke. Like, whatever you women say... I, no, you I actually will. said you're all attacking me. Correct. We should play that every clip exactly back. You, you don't said. even know what you you're doing. You That's the craziest are. part. Or you don't even room. know what it's you're doing. Called, it's literally called it's sarcasm. Bad. Bring a lie detector. Does but anyone think I'm butthurt? I don't. I love you, and women. We don't care you're going whether to you're Christ. butthurt or not. Yeah, no, we don't even care. That's not the point. So, so okay, let, let's I think she's more invested. Let's hear her I would like to change the subject a little bit. I no, no. You don't want to change the subject. I want to know why you're the most invested. Let's hear from her. And then you, and then everyone calm down. 
Do you have anything you want to say? I'm invested because one, you say you're a Christian man. Again, going back to your points, Mm -hmm. completely disrespecting someone that's vocalized that you've made them feel uncomfortable Mm -hmm. and you don't even acknowledge it, inquire about it or care. You just make fun because that's all you know, because you're immature and you deflect, 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 because that's all you know. You don't know how to be a Mm -hmm. bigger man and evolve and grow and actually be a fucking gentleman. You could still be a dick and be cocky and have this fucking peacocking shit that you know, but you don't have to be an actual bad person to somebody. You made her uncomfortable and now you're making jokes about it instead of genuinely caring about another person's human but feelings. You gotta remember it's crazy. As a Christian, my yes oh, here we go. My yes eh. when I'm not doing good, my yes means yes. My no means no. I can only give you the truth. You said you like truth earlier, and the truth is, I got it. She feels unsafe, and I don't give a fuck. I got it. That's the truth. I got a question for Blaze. Can you tell when a dude is like full of shit? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can you t- like? Do you, do you have like some sixth sense? I know that he cries at night a lot. Oh, this dude is hundred percent full of shit. This is all facade. Minus minus the attacks, though. What I'm saying is like, if you when a guy is, is talking to you, like, can you tell if the dude is full of shit? That he has game. That he's that he's ge- running game on that you. He's, that he's genuine. Yeah. What what is it, what is it about the cues? What, tell me what what tr- what what cues you in to whether this guy's for real or he's not for real. Body language. Um, I mean, this guy has had his sunglasses on the whole well, it time. Have to, it I look, have, I look it, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be Zerka. I mean, like, right. like there you guys go. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. body language. Uh, Let me do this. Their do do pronunciation like with their words, if they're stuttering, um, you know, just. Consistency. Two over, like, you know, there, everything is so perfect with them. There's no, not. No, I'm not perfect. I'm bad. the closest thing. I'm not perfect. Not talking about Only you. Christ is perfect. Ali, did you have anything you want to say? Can you tell when a guy is oh, like. Let, let, yeah, let, let, let. I'm in fight or flight, so I don't have critical thinking right now. Uh oh. We okay. need the police. Um, Stat. Or you could just be a decent human. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm not going to live this fake life. I mean, okay. there's a lot of theatrics going on at the moment in terms of fake life going on, uh, which I know is probably good for whatever it is that you are selling, but right now it's not really coming across to women okay. liking it. So, so listen, um, I, I do... Am I here to get win over the girl? Is it like okay. a show I have to win them over? You <laughs> yeah, should have told me that no, part. Not at all. I should have came in giving a fuck. having a dialogue. I, I would, We're literally I would, just here having a dialogue. Yeah, I got to propose. And I would, really, I would really like to change the dialogue. So let's try, yeah. let's try something else. You said something that I thought was interesting uh, on a Bradley's podcast, um, and I and it's something I've actually tried before, and that is you brought up the fact that you're a comedian, and but not. Oh, don't do that to me. No, no. Everything I said, I meant. No, no, I, no, I, I don't. No, I, I, agree, no, I agree. I agree that you Let meant him it. Finish. I agree with you. You meant it. What I'm saying is, we uh, there's there's a protection that comedians get on social media because remember you said. Uh, about being on YouTube, you said, oh, yeah, I can grow as much as I want. I'm a comedian. Do you remember just saying this on Bradley's yeah, podcast? Yeah, but I'm telling you right now, no, no, I agree you with you. cannot label me as a comedian. I'm, I'm not coming. Let him finish. I'm, 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 labeling, I'm not labeling you as a comedian, but I do think it's actually at this point, it might be an effective strategy to say whatever you want to say and then label yourself as a comedian. And I did this for a while. I actually changed it instead of being a coach to comedian. Oh, yeah, I to keep you, you remember yeah. that? It's a political to, strategy. To, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. So, do you feel that is a viable strategy to do that for like a lot algorithm? of my politics? Yes, but I'm not doing politics right now. I'm doing dating. Yeah. So I don't need to. I'm do just saying. It, I'm just saying in general. Like I thought it was an interesting strategy. No, no, that strategy, strategy mm-hmm. is to not get banned. That's it's not to spare. It's exactly. <laughs> it's exactly what I'm saying. And the thing is, what I'm telling you, because you might you talked to before about dating coming back Mm -hmm. but you do remember what happened when you had a conversation with rsd tyler with uh, owen cook about what happened with alex jones getting banned and you told them that they had to change their whole platform too and if it were satirical the algorithm would not have taken it as seriously and not come and taking all their stuff off the ground do you do you agree with it you see what i'm saying yeah absolutely correct i mean i I was the guy that they contacted um with uh, julian when when julian had the issues and was getting deplatformed um i was behind the scenes i wasn't um in the alex jones camp but one of my buddies was working with him so i knew that was coming in advance and so is that sandy hook no and so I alex jones got banned for sandy hook yeah he did i mean that was that, that was essentially that was the straw that what? broke the camel's back that was the straw that broke exactly yeah. alex jones was he there was lots of controversy i mean he was getting people were going and screaming at him in diners when he was going to sit down and eat like he, he was going to get the platform for a while they knew it was coming and what i said to uh to tyler owen was that if alex jones goes down he's the canary in the coal mine and I was like, everybody's going to come after us. After Alex Jones went, something like 
three or four hundred dating YouTube channels went down. My dating YouTube channel went down, um, and I had one of the original ones from 2006, and it was just like an absolute notification from YouTube. Yeah, your channel's gone. The end. And I feel like like Vitali was an example Vitaly, of someone who was who was doing something stuff that was just satirical, yep. but it was still. Is that in the, the guy dating. who beat up a woman? I don't did Vitali. He beat know. the shit out of a woman, didn't he? I don't know. I, I don't he was know. like on shrooms and psychosis. The the I, Russian. Yeah, the Russian guy. Vitaly. He beat up a woman. That did guy's he? a I psychopath. Did, I, didn't, I didn't know anything about that. That guy is a de degenerate psychopath. He was on shrooms and he attacked Which, someone's mom jogging. Is that what happened? I, I, I didn't know about this. Brutally. I, I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know the data. All I know is that Vitaly was always pushing the envelope. I mean, yeah. he was like the, the leader on YouTube for the but, prank. But well, I mean, I talked to the YouTube higher ups. Yeah. My angel investors got me in touch with them. Yeah. And so I know what's safe and what's not. But you're trying to say this. Hey, we lost the audio for him again. Can you make sure you plug this in? This is plugged in real quick. One more time. You said you, said you talked to the YouTube higher ups. I'm just saying that's why I don't feel the way you guys feel on this topic. Like, you guys think it's a bigger deal, right? No, no. What I what I'm saying is, like you mentioned before, like it does seem to be kind of a halo. If they think you're being satirical, you can get away with a lot more than if you start say, like if you're political and you say right wing stuff, you get banned. If you're satirical and you say right wing stuff, they're saying, oh, well, I'm a comedian, and mm. it seems to be this halo that protects you. Dave, Dave Chappelle, mm. halo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, right. and, and and because when we first came in here, you mentioned something to the effect of like, hey, I want to get, I want to make money, right? And there's there's a limit to what I you said can that? say. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I said we're getting views today. Right, right. that's fine. But I'm saying yeah. there's like at some point there is money. There is a limit to how far you can grow if you say things that the algorithm doesn't like. You don't want to pigeonhole yourself. Yeah, but again, you guys got to remember. Either way, I win. If I'm on Rumble, you know. I, well, they'll go into that. So Rumble. But has, I don't want to be on Rumble. But if I ever go, we're talking about me getting banned. Yes. If I got banned, I still win. I have a whole plan for that. Yeah. Like Sneeko, except he didn't have a plan. But I, I I see what you're saying. But like Rumble is not going to ban you. Rumble has very different uh, yeah, terms Rumble, of service. No, the difference is if I go to Rumble, I make ten million dollars. If I stay on YouTube, I can make fifty million less than a decade. If there's no oopsie daisies, but I've been in the most left leaning website, Twitch, and I know how to navigate that for years. Yes, and I got rich there. And a left leaning website to think I'm that funny. Yeah. And every single girl, it was like maybe five hundred girls plus I met, collaborated, all said I'm a great guy. That's the same thing I do on YouTube. Now she kind of looks, you know, not to attack her, she would look crazy because there's 500 girls that are going to be like, you, you, you can't digest Zerka? There's left-leaning liberal women, sensitive women all around me. All the clips, everything is on YouTube. So anytime a girl does that overreaction, she's actually just inviting. That's why I was leaning back. I didn't want people to attack her and say, oh, she's stupid. So I was like, oh, let it die. But she keeps pressing the issue. But if you guys are worried, about, I'll get in trouble for this. No, no, no. no. We're not. No, 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 is not worried about that. No, no, no. I'm just talking about an overall or the strategy. style. The yeah. style. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, Your no, approach. No, no. But the thing is, it's an overall strategy because I don't know if you're aware, but like just regular PUAs who had nothing to say politically were getting banned on YouTube. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you're you're also saying like anything can happen, and we can't live like that. Right. Uh, but, question for Adam. Um, Adam, do you think all guys need to be protecting women? Um, I think that males are more attractive as their protectors. And I, I mean, I don't just think that we know. But, I don't but, but do you think it's their duty to protect women? Because you, 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 you kind of came at him like, you know, you, you should be, like what, basically saying you're I not a babysitter. Man. Baby I never said he should No, be but that's what yeah. you're implying. Like, no, what I'm why you should be worried about like her being feeling uncomfortable, whatever. What, what I'm applying is that typically in society, the male's role, especially the masculine male role is the protector. That's why, mm -hmm. you know, we see people that go to, I mean, like, you know, veterans, right? People that go to war, they are the protectors. They are the, the absolute That's why we that talked that. about That's the lions and he literally so said, I, should I, but, but, a but, male lion can take should I, should I protect, Can I ask something? Go ahead. Should I be protective of Ghislaine Maxwell? That's a woman. I, I don't know this woman for shit. Why do I have to protect wow. her? What the fuck why are you talking about? Why are you that's, suggesting that's like she's like Maxwell? That's well, like how do I know? Can I how do I know like she's not a horrible sense. person? Well, if she isn't, are you going to judge so, everyone as horrible? Ex I'm not protecting strangers. You do that? I would absolutely yeah. be okay protecting strangers. So you, so if you bite saw the bullet. Vitaly bite the bullet. Say you'd protect Ghislaine Maxwell right now. Why would I do that? That's not correct. Let me ask you this. Why would I ask you this? You can get to know her. Maybe they're lying about her. Let me ask you. You're saying this because you know who Ghislaine Maxwell is. No, no, yes. no. But if you did not know who she was, if by his, if all, all, this, wrong, all this happened, wrong, would, by would, his, would you then have By the more person. simpy approach, his mindset would go to the media is li lying speedy. about you. It's the not, media is lying about you. Let me get to know help. you. That's right, a dangerous thing. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Take pol politics out of it. Take Absolutely. Christianity out of it. Take everything else. Take all, all the emotion. Take everything off the table. If you didn't know who she was, 
and you saw this woman, Ghislaine Maxwell, you don't know who she is. You have no preconcept no, no, you know of anything. Her. We're doing I know, I know. I understand. I'm just saying, before all this happens and you see her and she's getting beat up on the street, do you protect You're Ghislaine? Yes, I do. But That's remember, is she That's getting. It, this That's is how. You guys there, are but dumb. See, but see, is she getting a, beat up? But see, is she getting beat up? No, I'm not saying she's getting beat up. So give me a fucking. How do you feel like you walk there? Are you crazy? And you're literally calling all of us dumb. Hold on. Is she getting beat up? Is she getting beat up? Point your finger at somebody and shout. What a weird example. A woman she getting beat up. She is a weird example. Women abused. every fucking day are on the streets, need help with something. They got their purse stolen, we, their fucking car won't her. start. Anything. Just so Would you not ghost help the woman? Up? There is no ghost. There's no ghost? What kind you, of crazy shit are you saying how right now? You're not getting what I'm saying. I'm saying he wants me to protect her when she's In on a general, podcast. You know what's wrong. You know what's right. I, like you said, the Bible. You know wrong from right. Oh, my God. go ahead. I do believe that men should step in when a woman needs help right is screaming sure. for help or something of that sort but honestly you also don't want to get involved with things a lot of the women out here are really shady you don't oh, know if this true, bitch true. just stole this that's man's another, rolex and okay. he's shaking that's her down situation. to get it but back. hold on hold on or what's going on behind uh, the scenes you don't want to get involved okay. in anyone right. else's okay messes. i've i've dealt mm. with very mean women like that at nightclubs for five years and i'm telling you instinctively mean like he what? wouldn't jump in to mean save her like i what? would that's you're my wrong. job. Bro, you're That's wrong. literally my bro, job. Bro, you're wrong. You're not the only one that's worked in nightclubs as Would a you be faster I'd, than me? Absolutely. I'd, I'd be faster. Me a break, Dude, well, you I, don't wait, know I got it. I got another. Dude, I got, you don't know. Okay, here's and a, you know what's funny? <laughs> and you know what's funny about me? One. Even though she's mean to me, I'd still protect her today. Who is mean to you? Who is mean to you? I'm a Christian. Take that off the tape. Who is mean to you? Take that off the tape. Zerka, Zerka. Who are you talking about? Let me ask you this. She's mean because she feels uncomfortable? Let me give you this. Let me give you the hypothetical that you will hear. You will hear this. Shit, you will hear this from Tate. So you will hear this that. from Myron. You will hear this from me. The, what is the scenario that we always say? Who is going to go downstairs with, with a shotgun. baseball bat yeah. or the shotgun? Whose job is it to go and do that? It's our job. Whose job, it, whose job is it supposed to be? If we're going to talk about traditional Christian gender roles, right? Mm -hmm. If we're going to talk about those, uh, well, we can even just say they're evolutionary dimorphic. Well, I don't really get what you're saying. What, okay, but, but whose job is it to go downstairs and beat up the attacker? The man. Yeah. I can explain it to you if you need. But but the way you guys are bringing this, and it's kind of like going to humiliate you guys if you keep pressing it, you're saying you hear a scream down the road, and you investigate in some woman's no, office. No, you know, that is not what we're saying. She's we're a saying literally a stranger. In front she's of not, your face, like, you see them. someone that needs and, fucking and, help. Are and you going to help them? Like, it's, oh my God. it's comparing apples to oranges. No, it's not. Why would you bring a scenario of a woman being attacked to her? Her chilling on a she feels podcast. fucking threatened right now. She she's doesn't delusional. like your aura she's and your delusional. predatorial fucking but, but is it, is it, fucking How come the other nature? women don't God, God. feel like going to the it, but here, check this out. Right. Is it, this might go back to Adam. Yeah. Is it a man's responsibility to protect a woman that isn't his? Why should a guy jump yeah. in front of a gun yeah, but, but, and protect a woman right, right. that's not but, his? But Glenn, there's, but there's nothing wrong if he wants to. No, it's not. Right. But, but, but you're saying if anything, you it's honorable. Guy right. has to so, protect. So, I didn't say he has to do Actually, it. Actually, fuck it. Let's change it. I, let me change it we'll, so we can wrap it up. Totally. I don't want to protect women. <laughs> There you go. Okay. <laughs> that's a, well, there that's you go. a decision you've we're made. We're looping. All right. We're looping. Hey, we got we to wrap it. Yeah, yeah. You want to get the rest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get the rest of the chest right here. We got uh, $5. John, you always get in arguments with cat ladies. Um, <laughs> Jesus. We got okay. $10 to chat this podcast. This grown woman wearing cat ears is triggered by words on a podcast. She's nice a DJ, asshole. That's her fucking out and dry. That's what, what she does for so her. I, stand hey, I love her cat ears. Her I cat ears are awesome. Know. And, you know what? This and is, I rescue cats. You know so what? I love cat ears. You know I wore those say, cat ears last week. You know why I have to say Thank something? Because my community will clip it. I went on a two hour rant about saying the hardest thing a woman can be is that cat costume on Halloween. She yeah. got to wear it every night. Yeah. So I have to defend the cat ears for once. Yes. I All right, we got Z guy. in, Z in the chat. Tail. But also the girls in the are, or the girls in there are baddies. Recruit them. Also a host with uh, W for the host, W for the guests. It's a great um, episode, yeah. And then we got, they're just mad because they can't get with Zerka. <laughs> no, that's not true. Yeah, that's hey, it, uh, guys. You really that's hit the nail on the I got what? I got what? Zerka, yeah. can you name three countries? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. You want? No. All right, let's do it. Yeah. France, Italy, Germany. There you go. Got it. <laughs> my, my favorite, my favorite is Germany. My. Oh my God, you're a Nazi too. What the no, shit? No, I'm not. I'm actually, I'm actually Jewish, though. So oh, I'm actually well, leaving. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, I'm Jesus Albanian. was Jewish. And love, right? sure. Canceled. Okay. Uh, and we're joking. It's comedy. It came before the Bible, just so you know. Yep. 
Uh, anyway, and then okay. They Continue. reject uh, Christ. Listen, well, uh, I want to say this real quick. I, I understand we have episode. we have difference difference of opinions. Uh, I'm always for the side that wants more debate. This is the reason why I actually like Destiny because he's willing to debate people, mm, even if he, if he doesn't mm. agree with me. I'm going to do that. Now I understand it makes fe- some people feel uncomfortable, and I've delved into situations, and Rollo and I have delved into situations where some of our fans hate the shit that we're doing, and some of the people who don't like us hate us even more. But the reality of the situation is, I swore to, uh, an oath to serve and protect the Constitution of the United States of America against yes. all enemies and foreign and domestic, and all their there are all those amendments. And the First Amendment says that there is a right to express and a right to assembly. So I am going to support uh, anybody's right to express themselves. And if Benito fucking Mussolini was alive, I would interview him tomorrow. Okay? Whoa! You, know, listen, that is, you can say that? Listen, like, no, oh, listen, I, I, don't agree, I don't agree with Benito Mussolini, but I would... Sharing I would, of opinions is a healthy for sure. thing. Oh, I a, love, very just, healthy and yeah, diplomatic. You just stole my yeah. whole audience at that one. Yeah. Like, seriously, shit. there's no... But, because that's the thing, like, the, the problem is this, right? If we can't have open discourse, like, yes. uh, I'll tell you what, like, the whole situation with that uh, doctor, I forgot what his name is, Zota, Zota, as whatever the guy who would not debate um, uh, Joe Rogan about the vaccine thing. Yeah. Regardless of where you right. sit on that platform, the fact that you are an academician and you're refused to have a debate about this, that is the problem. And essentially, that is the problem. And so for, from my standpoint, you need to have an open discourse and that actually, so now what happens is we are fighting our battles on a podcast. It's fine. Across the street, uh, a table from each other. And then we go have a drink. We don't stab each other. We don't key each other's cars. We don't blow each other's We do key bumps. Huh? We key do key bumps. bumps. There you go. Key, right. key bumps, not key cars. <laughs> and so because of that, that's the reason why in this, in the United States of America, we can transition from one government to another without violence, like in other places they can't. And so mm-hmm. that's the that's the good part and the bad part of democracy, or the yes. good part of a republic de- uh, represented The only way to test the strength of an idea is in the crucible of open debate. Correct. So we are always going to allow open debate, even with people that we uh, don't necessarily agree with or people that we do agree with. And I don't hate any of them, no matter what they say. They could say M- Colombians from Texas are all you know worthless pieces of shit. I'm not going to hate you, but I am still going to I'm still going to give you a exactly <laughs> give you a fucking uh, a, a stance to. Uh, to all to right. So with that said, should we go around and do final thoughts? Well, final thoughts. Do you have any yeah. final thoughts, Demo? Um, you want to subscribe to Zerko's stuff? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, you don't want to. I'm an acquired yeah. taste. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, did you? Is the JRE thing real? Are you going to go on Joe Rogan? Um, I am a liar on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> I needed the engagement. Okay. <laughs> God damn it! Go I keep liking that. No, there we go. No, can we, you fucking some, got me on that. But you hold on. You want to hear something yeah. interesting? Yeah. Every, the last time I did that, I got two thousand likes. It put me on four of the biggest YouTube podcasts. That's how dumb YouTube's are, YouTubers are. You are correct. They keep platforming me, correct, and I sir. keep tomorrow. I interview Trump. Yeah, I, let me <laughs> you guys hear tomorrow. You, know, you heard it first. So, tomorrow he interviews Trump. Yeah, so you, I'm you not know, trying to fool my audience, right? Yeah. I'm you trying know, to fool you know the guys found, that I want to get on the podcast. With. You know how I Rumor? found that out because I had so many people in my DMs are going, yeah. "How's this motherfucker getting on on Joe you Rogan?" And you're fake. not. And I'm just like, Rollo, you knew it's fake. I don't right? know if that. Well, I was had doubts. That's why guys, I rule number four: social media is fake, and I'm okay with that because the money's real. Rollo, they also say that Joe Rogan's afraid of red pill dating topics. I'm sure he is. I think you're the only guy that could actually keep him safe. I told I should be you. I, the, the guys who were DMing me, they're saying, how come you're not on Joe Rogan? I said, the, I said I'm never going to get on there. I said, the only chance I had to get on Joe Rogan was after Hotep Jesus went on there because he dropped my name like three or four times on there. It didn't happen. I'm like, okay, I'm out. No, if, it, if the topic is dating, oh, trust, Joe, don't take me, me. Take Rolo. There are, there are I'm going to nuke your channel. And, there, and, and you guys can stop sending me these DMs now. I will probably never get on Joe Rogan, and goddamn knows I'm never going to get on Joe No, I think you I, have I, a chance. You, you know what? That ship has sailed. I'm, I'm good with that. We're I'd John rather Dr. be Phil? here having this conversation with you guys than going on Joe Rogan or Tim Pool. You were on Dr. Phil. I was. So you can do Joe. Oh, yeah. You are the only one on the red pill who can actually transition. But see, but see I don't ask to get on Joe. Joe asks you to yeah, come Joe on his show. No, no, demand right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah all, right. all right, let's all get right. Beautiful. Promos. Delmo, okay. anything else? Um, no. Follow, no. Her, follow her on OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can follow me um, at Domo Monster 7 on IG. Hey, Domo, tell me how many mo- uh, new off subscribers you have in the next 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Eve. Yeah, um, I would say that Zerker, I know you entertaining and funny, but karma will, you will catch up. You can't go trailblazing by hurting other people through life, you know. So, although ride your wave, have fun, but I'm not a hippie. Seen, I gotta hurt people. I gotta hurt feelings. I've seen lots of rise and falls of guys like you. So, best of luck to you. All right, well, hold, hold, at you, when we come around, go ahead. Um, yeah, I think this is awesome. I mean, you guys make a, a really good podcast. I'm definitely an amazingly entertaining guest. Um, so, you know, it's great there. Um, if anybody's been watching this and they are interested in what we do, um, you can go to askadatingcoach.com forward slash gift. 
Uh, we give away a whole bunch of freebies because we think that's important. My favorite is the 52 signs that a woman gives that she's interested in you. Worth learning. Man, 52 signs. Wow. Bro, I'm going to memorize all those motherfuckers. All right. <laughs> Allie, do you have anything? Cat. Uh, yeah, if you want to fuck teenagers, follow him. If you want to, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let, let it let it go. Keep going. If keep you going. want an actual successful relationship, follow him. Awesome. Hey, Ali, what I kind mean, of what well, you play? Open format, right? Where do you play? Where, where can where we are find you? Where are you going to be at next? Uh, I, I'm not taking gigs right now. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay. Really? All right. All right. Nice. And then we I, got. I'm working on music. Uh, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, the other Ali. 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 Hi, you can follow me at Spicy Holly Ma on Instagram. I do not have mm. an OnlyFans. I do believe this guy is a walking douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm honest to say it, but it's okay. It's I, know, I know you turned on. Yeah. And you can not really. follow me. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's turned on. <laughs> okay, we're launching TheZirkoOfficial.com tonight. Well, today we already did. But if you want to follow me, meet me at the playground. Yeah. <laughs> the t- teen, teen, teen girls. I like 18, 19. Yeah. Oh, I got her ass. Look yeah. at that. Get the camera on her. Gross. Teen on her birthday. Let's go. I love you guys. Oi! And Christ is king. Let's not forget it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, if you want to follow all my music and everything I'm working on, my Instagram is at hellgirlofficial. Um, I just wanted to say... She's really general, good, by the way. I just started watching your, your music Thank videos. you so much. Um, I just wanted to say to everybody out there listening, honestly, take whatever you're going to take from this. But at the end of the day, I think the biggest key is just self-improvement and working on yourself, I think, is most important out of anything to further your relationships, whether that be friendships or close relationships in your life. And I would hope that one day this youngin over here can evolve and I think he has potential to do something and I think he would do really well in some therapy and some self <laughs> yeah. working on himself as well so that hopefully oh, he I can be like more effective so, for so, but, his so, audience so, so, he, so he can hurt the therapist like yeah. what are you talking about <laughs> I want to traumatize no, no. the rehab I, I, no this is a this is a I actually think that's a great one but like you know I could see a therapist a lot of people tell me this but like what do they have what do they have to learn <laughs> I, I got people watching me. Right, I got people watching me right now. Go. All right, hold on, Coco. Go, Coco. Go. So, um, uh, my pastor always said that the strongest prayer that you could say is help. So, Lord, help. <laughs> I say it enough. And may peace be with him. That's Amen. all I nice. got to say. Amen. Uh, Black Yo, on what, 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 one more thing. So, uh, John and I are going to do a debate on Monday. Monday. And John, honestly, like. There's a much more things I want to talk about besides Flat Earth. So let me Actually, do... I want Flat Earth to be the smallest one because okay. I think that's the one you'll lose the fastest. Nice. And it's not really your area. But <laughs> you, you, I, do, you do understand I studied astrophysics in college. Like, you have no you idea what's about to happen. Yeah, yes. Yes. yes, I do. Oh, yes. 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 Are you surprised? Adam, 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 yeah, I'm Adam, stick you, around. You've got to watch this one. John, John. Do, do you guys know who Destiny is? Yeah. You know who Destiny is? Sure. No. Check this out. I'll give you $10,000 if you can beat me. In a flat earth debate, I'll get zero in return. <laughs> How do you Free win? Though? Like, what Actually, is you know the what? determining no factor on when to lose? John, John, whoa, whoa, that's, John, that's, John, hold on, that's twenty John, minutes. John, I'm that, gonna, for twenty minutes of your time, John, you can have ten thousand transferred right now. I'm gonna, and go, you don't have to win. I'm Just let me, you, let me have the do, no. John, don't I'm gonna do you one better. You're gonna pay me ten grand to listen to you for twenty minutes. No, no, no. You can debate. So I get to debate you for 20 minutes. Yes. And I can make 10 if, grand if yeah, I can last 20 minutes just, of listening to you. Just win the debate. <laughs> How do you win? Wait, what is the that, like Destiny, factor of win to the, the, loss? Listen. Who's the judge? Who is the Destiny's judge? Destiny's chat. A chat that hates me. So he's the first person I debated, oh, and Mark, to, to, be fair, my, my to be fair, he, he did win. That, that, and that, and you watched percentage. it. I did. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm in trouble. You actually studied. Listen, that? listen, Matt. Oh, I'm in trouble. I have, I have a degree in astrophysics. Like you're, you're. But hold on. You're in a lot of trouble. But, I, I, but hold on, hold on. But I still Who's like the last you. guy I beat? Uh, the, I forgot the guy's name. The blonde engineer dude. who works at yeah, NASA. I remember. Yeah. No, no, engineer who worked at yeah. NASA. So you got to be better than well, someone. Who's, so, so here's the thing. And a what, telemetry. What, guy. One of the things. So the difference between those guys is I'm actually friends with a lot of flat earthers, and so I had them look oh, at your shit. arguments. So they don't. Not a disc in space. Yeah. Not that one. Okay. No, no. It's not those guys. We're talking about the real one. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm not here to debate you. I'm here to teach you, bro. Like it's not. But, it's, but, it's, not it's not what you think is gonna happen. Check it out. Check it out. I do this for a living. No, I love. Did you grow up in Albania? No, yes. no, 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 no. I'm a refugee here from a war zone. Very trauma. Kosovo, right? Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now check it out. Check it out. You guys saved me. You saved my life. Yeah. Right. But check this out. When you said I want to do other topics with you, I never do this. I swear we could do a three-hour one. Okay. Let's we do could three do a three-hour because you and I, the way we did this energy. Yeah. You three, us three, we could go all day. Yeah. 
And yeah, then, probably and then, will. And then we could have enough fucking clips to get, you know, I don't have to keep flying back, you know? I love it. Well, you're going to want to fly back you're after gonna this wa- weekend. You're going to want to fly back after right, tonight. Let me, uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me see if I can seed this debate a little bit more. Sure. You're going to want to watch the very end of this debate because I got something very special lined up for you before, by the end of this debate. I'm not going to give it away. I hope it's not a party. I don't want to give it away. No, but I, 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 we're gonna, people are going to put their money where their mouths are. So okay. at the end of that debate, you're going to want to watch the very end of it. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I have to be uh, here, right? Yeah, yes. you're gonna be here on Monday. Yes. Okay. So yes. Four, four o'clock on Monday, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pre-record it just so you can say whatever you want. Pacific just, time. We'll do exactly what you did. Oh with, no, no. Uh, with, I, with, uh, I can tone it down. We don't have to. We do can. To- I, how about this? You're you can go live. I'm gonna have to pre-record it for my oh, channel. I don't, I don't want to go live. Okay. It's all you. Okay. Take it. Take all it. right. Perfect. Got it. Uh, is anybody else? We got good. Right. Okay. A couple more things I want to go over real quick. Okay. Number one, on the 25th, he and I are going to be going on whatever podcast. On the 26th, I am hosting the Los Angeles preliminary for Swimsuit USA's World Championship. The finals are, are going to be at the end of October. You are you competing? I'm going to enter. Yeah. Okay, you're going to compete. Okay. On the 27th is going to be Babes in Toyland support our troops. We're going to try to raise a couple hundred thousand dollars for troops overseas. And after the, that? Yeah. And then on the 28th is going to be the second round of the biggest bikini competition in the world, right. which is the Girls of Summer Bikini Competition at Wet Republic. You guys are all welcome to come to that. Uh, I'm not going to be going on Sauce Cast. That, that got canceled. So oh, we're, going to, okay. yeah, we're going to be doing so something else. Out. So I want to let you guys know oh. you're all invited to any one of those things. Okay. Also, October 15th, we're doing right. Babes in Toyland for Breast Cancer Awareness in Los Angeles. It's going to be a ton of influencers you guys are all welcome to join and for those of you who are watching there's no excuse all of you please join my school server because everything mm-hmm. i just mentioned is going to be there plus the book list plus the instagram testimonials okay. plus the schedule for every single thing i do please check me out write me on instagram and I'll, I'll put you on school and next week we are here again we're doing it every thursday except for the last one yes. in july so uh who do we have lined up glenn for next week uh next well next do we week. have mike rasheed uh we got to talk to mike rasheed if he's gonna okay, be able to so make on the 20th we 20th. have on the twentieth, we have Sharp from No Jumper coming in, and we wow. also have, and we also have we also have Sergio from Purple Pill Podcast. Yeah, Purple Pill Woo. Podcast is debating right Rolo and Mike. Sure, and then uh, think what Saturday Zerka, me and you. Yeah, actually. Yeah. What is it Saturday? Is that Monday? Yeah, the Monday. Yeah, okay, the, fine. Yeah, let's. So let Saturday, just... me and Zerka are debating Christ and uh, Catholic. Catholicism. Yeah. yeah Ortho Bros. We're going to talk about saints. We're going to talk about saints. Praying to saints. Praying to saints. I will not That's, the, that's that the one I'm prepared for the most because you're a pastor? Uh, yeah. You're going anyways, down. we got... We no, got, I don't mind losing a pastor. That makes me look... Dude, I'm a right, bouncer. So poss- possibly Mike Rashid next week and then we yeah, also have... Uh, the and we have Sharp on the 20th. Yep. Okay. Cool. Awesome, it. man. We want to thank you guys so much for checking us out. Uh, yeah, this is the most views we've ever gotten by the Also, like, and then uh, if you haven't subbed to the main channel, we're trying to get that up to 4,000 watch hours so we can actually take uh, off We got to 4,000 watch hours we're tonight. Definitely, we're we definitely got to 4,000 watch hours Thank tonight. you very much for What's your the, participations. And hit the like. Yeah, so Say it again. What, guys, yeah. what was the viewer count tonight? Uh, the, we, uh, we've had like about 5,000 people watching. It's been very good. Hit the like, hit the, hit the share, hit the save. All right, guys. We will see you all in seven days. We'll see you all next week. Please stay tuned and subscribe to Access Vegas. Yeah, baby, we can play.